tell me, okay, so you wrote a letter to dad we're or school. The, we're still on the baby bump, I thought. We're, no, no, come on. It's an immaculate conception, supposedly. <laughs> don't, don't get started. It's going to be, guys, at the end. At the end of the day, the adrenaline booth gets wild. Okay, okay, Mike. So tell me about. Okay, so she she said she did something in school. She did. She she made a little uh, stick figure drawing and said, "My dad builds really strong boats and he's somebody special and, and all this." And so I've kept it in my truck ever since. It's a stick figure though. Yeah, it's like a little kindergarten, you know, art. Kindergarten it's like a, it's art, like a, a little a boat, stick figure. Like wow, and, and you've kept it there. Since every truck, you know, every when truck, I get a new truck, I take that and I put it up. It's like it's like my registration, I put it up in the visor. Wow, yeah. you typically have very limited walkway, but we've been able to open it up and make this really nice and big. Six four, six four, plenty of headroom. You're how much are you weighing though? 180, 225 over here, <laughs> but I'm ripped. I'm six five. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, there he is, there he is, and I caught him eating. I caught him eating. I caught him. Is Dude, this? What are you doing? <laughs> Man, you just surprised Vis. Dude, uh, come like here. That? No, no, listen. Surprise Vis and nothing. Get up. I want to go ahead and talk about your weight problem. What the hell happened to you? What's wrong with me? You're having a kid. No, I'm not. I'm not. Where's your wife? Are you taking over for her? No, we're just, you know, eating well, you know? You know, we got a baby coming soon. I don't know so. what to tell you, Alfred. Yeah. <laughs> my, 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 my camera is still thawing are you out. Alive? No, I'm not alive right now. Facebook. No, you know where I was just now? Where were you? With Todd at Jupiter. Yeah, Park. yes. <laughs> How could I know? Is it right there? Yes. Okay. So give me an idea. Wow, this is. I basically, with this interior, I've gone as wide as I can go, low as I can go, and you can see as high as I can go. I'm six foot two. Uh -huh. I'm six five. Ha <laughs> ha. <Yeah. laughs> okay, hold on a second. So where's is this going to be the actual floor right here? Yes. So this is going to be the actual floor once. But what I've done, this is the one you put this tub in here. What I call, if you're going to totally custom, I've had people who want to put three bunks in here. I've had people who want to do nothing but storage for tackle a tender an 89 footer something but then i've made a new one of these where there's molded in fiberglass seats with two hatches on them a counter space here recess a microwave here a wet head here with a full wall recess a medicine cabinet back in here and then these bunks here i brought them up seven inches in four inches then a dinette table goes down and basically you got a five by six, six foot bed in here. See Come here, your wife doesn't know you're here. Neither does your boss. But his girlfriend does. What was the question that you were gonna ask? I said, is Fred, Fred still alive? Bro, what kind of question is that? I don't know, I live in Palm Beach. I'm not a, I'm not a black Bro, guy. Bro, okay, so listen. Fred, if, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh my God. I'm just, I'm just kidding, fellas. Hey. Lawsuit though. Wait for it. I'm from Miami, dude. Come on. Buy a hat, guys. Okay, so Fred the Croc literally is alive. He actually came out the other day. I did a live video the other day and he pulled up right after I finished my live stream. He showed up. How about the ducks? The ducks are a little What's bit the, they're, they're problematic, the bro. The duck that lives in front of your house. Ooh. You guys have a, like a soprano relationship. Bro, bro, listen, there's a lot going on with that duck. You don't know the fights me and my wife have had for that duck. And I'm going to leave here because she's going to watch this video and she's going to say, you see, your damn ducks are a problem. <laughs> guys, welcome to the, the Chit Show. We're going to begin the video right now. Hey, I'm out of here. Thanks, bro. Damn it. I got in trouble, guys. She's going to watch this. Let's start the video. Alvar Montaner, boat show. Get ready. Let's go and start from the other side. Let's start out in the mansion yacht. Boom. Alfred Montaner here, guys, and we're on the mansion yacht. If you guys haven't seen the video that I did in Sarasota of this boat, you want to see it, guys. Welcome to the Palm, Palm Beach Boat Show. We're going to do a walking tour of the entire show. I came onto the mansion yacht. Um, they don't know how I got in here, but I got my ways. So let's go ahead and do a walkthrough video. And uh, I don't know. Stick around, guys. Like I say, I always tell you guys, it's going to be a long one. Look, just so you have an idea. This is where you would drive this epic yacht. Wait until you see what this looks like on the outside, guys. All right, so this is the Palm Beach Boat Show 2023. And uh, all I could say is absolutely insane. We're gonna walk 
Oh my goodness. If you guys have never made it to the Palm Beach show, you're definitely gonna wanna check this out. Oh look, something interesting about this. This is one of the spuds that will actually anchor this massive, dude, this thing is incredible, guys. When I tell you it's incredible, I would refer you to check out the old video. Oh no, I got a call, but I, I can't, I can't take the call because I'm working and that's the reality of what's going on here. All right, let's go ahead and see what's going on here. All right, so like I said, I would refer you to this main video. All right, I know, I know my way around here guys, so we're gonna get out of here. But these are all rooms and there might, there might be guests in there. So I don't want to think, make things kind of, I think they're mansion, yacht, dot com oh boy here's to the left normally to the left is where they're at damn it oh man you guys gotta see what's down there too oops are you still here to, to, to I, I, have, listen, you can't I haven't left listen, you gotta go. wait i want i want to get on the 120 when when is that one coming when is this one this is a 120 this is like twice as big Bruno, can I get a can I get an exclusive on the 120 when it happens? Of course. All right, no, well it's hey the mansion yacht mansionyacht.com. Mansionyachts.com. Mansionyachts.com, guys. Check it out. You're gonna see. <laughs> All right, how do I get out? Just press the button. Pull. All right, guys. Let's go. That's Bruno. Mansionyachts.com, guys. Wow. And. Could you imagine the parties here? If I'm not mistaken, guys, I think this is one of the VIP um, boats that they're using at the show. So, and so many celebrities and people have rented this thing. It's, it's absolutely insane. Wait until you see the further view. All right, so we're gonna walk. It could get kind of crazy, guys. My goal is not to turn off the camera and uh, we'll see what happens. Let's see what happens here at the show. We jumped in and we see a Jupiter here and a couple of uh, a Rolls Royce and a Bentley. Look, look, look. Just, just an example of what we were just on. All right. All right, so let's, uh, you know what? Yes. I don't know if it goes through, that's the thing. But I do want to show you some of these yachts here because the Palm Beach Boat Show is, I mean, imagine it's Palm Beach. This is like where the money, money, Florida, Florida money is in this area, guys. All this area is full of super powerful and wealthy people. Look at this yacht. Absolutely stunning. And right next to it, you have Worldwide boat. Yes, this must be absolutely stunning inside. Welcome to Palm Beach, guys. Um, all I'm going to tell you guys is wait for it. Look, look, look at that motorcycle. That's so cool. Now, I'm going to find an app, guys that I want you guys to scan for a future, for the future if you're not here. And I have nothing to do with the show or anything like that, but I just think it's convenient. Oh boy, hold on, well, let's get out of this area because there's some music and we don't want music in our videos. So let's go. Oh boy, run, 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 run. Oh boy, all right, so like, here, here, here it is, here it is, here it is. Ready, 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 okay. The mobile app is that one right there. Scan that right there, and then you'll be able to you'll be able to go ahead and find out where your favorite uh, boat manufacturers are. All right, welcome to the show. Look, I already see something that has taken hours to make. Willy Seventeen. 
Wow. Nice looking flats boat, dude. What do you guys think? Willie Roberts. How much is something like this? 62.5 show special. 62.5 show special and what is a 17, right? That's a 17, 17. Where can, where can they go online to, to find out information about it? Willie Roberts. Will, Willieflatsboats.com. Willieflatsboats.com, guys. Check it out over here, Palm Beach. Yes, I am. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Hey, you're going to be on the, on the show. All right, guys. <laughs> he just whispered, are you Alfred? Yeah, I'm wearing a hat today, guys. I'm wearing, I'm actually wearing my MIA hat. If you guys don't know, I got my uh, MIA hats that are on my site, luxuryribtenders.com. So let's see what we got over here. Um, so yeah, we might get stopped guys along the way because things are crazy and busy, but I'll try to stay as engaged as possible, right? This is a nice Bahala. Bahala had a brand new boat over there at the show in Miami, which was absolutely insane. Sick. Oh my goodness. Guys, what's happening is I gotta take this call. So yours truly has to uh, cut the video. Wait for it. Um, my extended warranty guys I know my my extended warranty was about to to not auto renew so I had to fix it guys I know welcome to inflatable world right now this is not inflatable world, guys this is an AB inflatable you guys know that I'm a huge inflatable fan and uh, these are some zodiacs and look at this guy 6.8 medline absolutely awesome hopefully I don't get more calls and I'm sure we're gonna hear a little bit of that um, air conditioners there but yes we got sea legs I love this I love this oh my goodness there's so many so many rib boats guys look 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 Walker Bay we've, we've got some uh, Walker Bays in the video sea legs over here we're not going to get too, too close because they got the music on, but... Godiak. Um, we've actually shown some of these boats in the past. 14.94495. Whatever it takes, guys. Whatever it takes. All right, I got some stuff over here, but I don't want to miss Williams, right? Williams Tenders. Come on, we gotta always go and check out Williams Tenders. I think they got something new here at the show. So, look at this. Go and go to your beach right there. I don't know. Comment below, guys. Beach life or what? Here's Williams Jet right here. Oh boy. We did see some of these. Guys, look at the details on that stuff. Imagine this in your mega yacht. Lauren! Hi! How's it going? Why is it always like 90 degrees whenever you're at a show? <laughs> it is Florida. It's scorching. Yes. What is this? It's like, it, this is like, I think this is the smallest little rib tender I've yeah, seen out here. It's the smallest that we make. Nine feet overall in length, fitted with a 60 horsepower engine. A 60 on and nine feet? Yeah. 
how fast are we going on this? 40 miles an hour. 40 miles an hour, guys, oh for reference, God. that's like 100 miles an hour on a boat this size. <laughs> if you want to feel something. <laughs> Anything you want to show at the show that's different that we didn't show in Miami? Uh, nothing actually, yes. They use um, mine but we in the Miami this new sort of Show, but it's just so much nicer than your average marine vinyl called Silver Tex. Very luxurious, so you're not sweaty, sticking to the seats or the cushions. Very nice. And you're still seeing the fit and finish, the top of notch, high quality. Gorgeous yeah. Tender. Where can they go online? Uh, WilliamsTendersUSA.com. What do, what do we tell your dad? Because he's a big fan of the chit show. What do we tell him? Hi, dad. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We're, we're over here. Williams Jet Tenders. Check them out, guys. Look. Chit Cho in the oh, house. Oh, that's it. Come here. Come on. We, we got grandson. I just did my grand, granddad moment the other day. Did you? Yeah, I took my kid to a, to a baseball game. I got him nosebleed seats. I didn't even know. It was his first nosebleed section seat. Oh, yeah? yeah, I got it, but it was good. How's the show so far? So far, good. What's up, dude? How you doing? What's your name? Brantz. What's up, man? Nice to meet you, Brantz. Branson. Branson. Yeah. So uh, you're here for the, the boats. You see anything you like in particular? Give me a pair of motors. Which one? Some motors. Oh, some motors. What are you looking, what are you steering to? More or less? Suzuki. Suzuki. Zuki! The guys are Zooks. Atlantic Marine. Oh, yes. Atlantic, I'm sorry, um, Stewart. Yeah. Okay, they're here in Atlantic Marine. It's on the yeah, other side. I saw. That's who I yes. To. Yes. All right, well, listen up. Thank you for watching the show, guys, over here. You don't say, ah, cha cha, and then all of a sudden say, I don't want to be on it. It doesn't work that way, my friends. What do you guys think about this right here? Wow, my son right now would be, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but my 16 year old has uh, really found an infatuation when it comes to cars. Wow, what is this? Dude, that's a Ford, wow. Hold on guys, hold on. 2020 Ford GT. I don't know guys. Scan it at your own. Um, I don't know. If you guys know about those uh, C-Bob uh, underwater kind of scooters, you know you can put them underwater. This is cool stuff, guys. Look at this. Oh, they got a cart. They got a cart for them now, dude. Imagine this, guys. Look, look at look on the, the screen. Does it show? Yeah, you're in the water. That is so cool. They've been in the market, guys, and a lot of fun. We got more cars, and we got. Uh, it's gonna be a long show, guys. It's, we're gonna we're gonna see a lot, so stick around. I want to give you guys the vibe as if you were here, so you guys can see the show in full. I don't know what other extended warranty I'm gonna have to ask for at some point, but. Uh, I don't know, might as well see what's... Wait for it. More flats boats here. The Dragonfly, I had this board, dude. Guys, let me tell you something. This thing is ultra, ultra light. It's like a stalker for fish. I had this board. Super, super good. Mine's just a little longer, I think. Like ice delivery over here. All right. I'm filming this on a Friday, guys, so you guys have an idea of the movement. It's somewhat early, maybe around 11. Look, look at this. Small boat. Guys, we're gonna get to the big boats now. I want you guys to see the entire show. There's a couple of boats that I wanted to see over here. Some some boats I missed in the Miami show. If you missed the Miami walkthrough videos, there's several of them there as well. But uh, yeah, we're gonna start uh, going in now. The show is moving all right so we're right now on ramp three
this is a great show to come to guys definitely if you're in the market for a brand new boat Palm Beach is a good show all right we're in I don't know guys we're gonna wing this and see what happens as we walk and talk 2021 Jupiter speaking of Jupiter I want to see if I run into Todd at Jupiter we'll see if we can find them today at the show I did see the cowboy hat Daniel from Tuppence Marine he's like you got to do some videos with me he's all giddy and excited he's got a, a little boy on the way so you could tell he's got that uh, daddy weight already catching on it's amazing how the ladies just went ahead and they get pregnant the men are like I gotta support you honey let's let me lose let me gain 30 pounds and the ladies always lose the weight and the guys always like they gain more I don't know guys we gotta work on that invincible in the house speaking of invincible you know we did the video uh, one of the shows with the brand new pilot house invincible and I got footage of it coming out of Black Point Marina Whew, that thing is crazy this is a 2019 HMY guys are representing these boats. This is a Buddy Davis. There's that new Buddy Davis, the green one that I that I failed. I failed to record in the Miami show, guys. I really wanted to see inside that boat. Maybe, hopefully, hopefully, if I'm lucky, it's here. But we'll see. I don't know. I was heartbroken about that too. I went, I went the day they were shipping out. I was like, ah, let me try, let me try. What happened is I did a lot of the long walk videos, like kind of like this one, and I just ran out of time. Valhalla, Valhalla over here. So unbelievable. We've done some some cool videos here at the show in Valhalla as well. We did see the new one, which I believe is this one right here. Yes, it's this, it's this one. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Absolute. Look at the size of this gunnel. Just literally fight a fish without a problem, like if it's a dance floor. Literally a dance floor. Wow. Guys. Words can't describe how mean this thing looks. So badass. Yeah, we we definitely gotta try to find a way to get off on that boat. All right, we got some Vikings and stuff along this way, but we're gonna continue walking this way, guys. I gotta maximize my knee, all right? We're doing this! But this, this is what what this Palm Beach show is about. Absolute monsters, right? Now the smaller boats get to the other side, but you know what? There's a huge audience for all these big yachts and I want you guys to see the entire show, right? It seems like the Palm Beach show just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. I mean, think about it guys. Florida between Miami show, Palm Beach show, and Fort Lauderdale show, you have no excuse to come at different times of the year to South Florida or Florida itself to a boat show. So find the weather and month that works best for you and come down. Burger, look at 
You guys remember the video we did with the Burger Yachts guys? I wonder if they have anything here. Now we went from Ocean Reef to Key Largo. I'm sorry, from, from Ocean Reef with this North Key Largo to Fisher Island in Miami. Absolutely stunning. I met them in a in a in, in Annapolis. How's the show? Good. Anything you're gonna have here that we can show later? Oh, that one we wanna look at right there. We wanna look at this one. When is this one gonna be done? Pardon me. When is it gonna be done? Planning for next year. Next year? Maybe a sea trial out of Ocean Reef to Fisher Island. Ah, wait for it. <laughs> All right, guys. Burger yachts, guys, over here. Absolute beautiful yachts. Well, we, when we pulled in on the burger yacht that we went to Fisher Island. And Fisher Island, so you guys know, is an ex exclusive island in Miami. And Ocean Reef is also very ultra exclusive in Key Largo. So we started in an exclusive place and ended in an exclusive place. And and it was absolutely crazy because when we pulled into Fisher Island, there was a 120 foot burger in the docks over there as we pulled up on a smaller one. It was pretty wild. All right, so look, just so you guys can get a, a perspective of some of the mega super yachts that are here, just so you guys can see the the capacity this is absolutely nuts uh, you guys you know what off off this walkthrough i might make the effort to try to see if we can do some more walkthroughs on some of these yachts i, th I think i think some of the world needs to see some of these all right well this is what this is what i want to show you guys this is not a cruise ship over here guys Oh my goodness, coral ocean, oh my goodness, look at the size of this massive super yacht, wow, crazy, let's continue, I mean look, this, this boat looks like a baby compared to that yacht, and that's huge. All right, let's continue over here, guys. And just so you guys know, this is the Ocean Alexander booth. And we did do some videos on the channel with them as well. My suggestion, if you want to see a yacht, just type in Alfred Montaner Yacht and you'll see some of my yacht walkthroughs. They're pretty cool. I'm actually liking that it's kind of slow right now. It's early, guys. Yesterday was the first day of the show. Talked to some people that said it was pretty busy. Very, very busy, actually. I'm assuming there's a garage behind there for the tender somewhere. Crazy, crazy. We're gonna have to start prying a little bit too, guys. I know that there's some stuff I already heard about and uh, we're gonna have to start prying. Oh yeah. Nice scout. And we've done major walkthroughs of this uh, 53. 
Is it a 53? Yeah, it looks like a 53. More sport fish over here. Oh my goodness, that's a sailboat, dude. There's a sailboat behind me. Oh boy. We got some. Wait for it. Denison over here, guys. Oh, these people tagged me on YouTube. Wait for it. Oh boy. Lacquer. They actually tagged me on my Instagram. So different. Dude, this looks like this. It's aluminum. No way. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me do my football steps here. Wow. Damn, that is nice. So different. Aluminum. Wow. Talk about a tender and a half. Get your people from one place to the next and have all the comforts in the world. Beautiful. It's called Damsco 750 Cabin. Yes. And here's the 44. Oh boy. Oh man. Oh man. We're talking about some sexiness, guys. Let me let me get through real quick here because I definitely want to show this. Oh boy. Wow. Comment below guys, are you a fan? Yay or nay, I'm a fan. I am a fan. Look at this. And here's a better look. Let me see if we can get a little bit in, in the cabin here. Oh no, can't get in there. But nevertheless, pretty badass. Let's continue. Let's continue. That's what I want to see. Anything that's different, guys, I want to show you guys and focus on. And so we're definitely, we got HCB over there. And uh, what do we got over there as well? Yeah, I think, I think we're going to go real quick over here, pass, because we got some music. But I think we're going to get out of here. Oh, boy. Nice boat. What? We got some music. I don't know. Badass, I would say as well. Look at this. This is crazy. Guys, when you know I'm going to be at a show, always try to tell me, like a video before or something like that, what you guys want to see. This is a 65 Estrella from HCB. And you know we've done major walkthroughs of Vanquish. Did you see the azimuth? I haven't, ma'am. <laughs> no, Good luck. There's an app, guys. There's an app. Download the app. Should have just told her that. There's been a plane, uh, a helicopter. Oh, wait, hold on. I'd like to buy five. Five, right now. Five? I'd like to buy five. I want to start off with this one and I need to leave today, this afternoon. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm just showing your boats. Relax. <laughs> no, 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 guys. There's, there's, there's customers that they're selling boats with. I always give her a hard time when we're at the shows. This is their 40. Smaller boat. Um, all aluminum. Pretty unique. They have a tender inside these areas here as well. Um, and here's the 45. And also guys, like I said, I'll reference you back to older videos that we've done exclusive walkthroughs of these. I just want to show you guys the most latest boats that are here at the show.
Yeah, things get weird, guys. When I'm when I'm live, when I'm live, oof, I'm not I'm not live now. So, but it, it can get it can get weird with uh, Mr. Montaner. Big target. A lot of, lot of um, boats that are, are people upgrading or what's going on? I don't know. Wait for it. Now, we had like such a hard time getting boats because of the pandemic. And I think, I think the two year out and all that stuff, I think it's starting to normalize guys. So keep that in mind. Wow, absolutely beautiful. Wow, 65 Australia, completely different setup. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Wow, absolute beauty. Wow. I mean, you got some Yamahas on this guy. Crazy. It's called Arthur's Way, and it's being uh, shown by Denison. Let me let me see if I can give the info. This 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 yacht looks very different. This, I mean, it's a center console, but it, I mean, come on, this is like a yacht. All right, here, here are your contacts. Guys, in a weird way, I'm the best-selling salesman in all of America. I know, it's hard to believe. Yeah. It's hard to believe. I, I think I get told every day, I bought a boat because of you. I want to thank you so much. Hey, I just show the boats. I have no biases. I'm good. I just want, sh I just want you guys to see. I put the plate, if you guys want to eat, that's on you. That's on you. Look. Oh, well. This reminds me of, remember WWE back in the days, the WWF, the Iron Sheik? This is what this reminds me of right there. Remember those shoes? Yeah, you guys remember. I mean, some of you remember. What the, dude, this, this is gonna be the thumbnail. Damn, that is so cool. I love that. This is, you see this? This is, this is something that you probably will see once in your lifetime, right? in person and you can see it here at the show wow talk about craftsmanship Nadan is what it's called burger what's it called it's, it's built by burger the name of the boat is Nadan burger made this yacht yeah we were just at the burger booth yeah so they they made this one here this is a burger boat this is a burger boat wow oh I'm my sure god Ron burger knows it well I gotta go talk to him because now I wanna walk inside of it. Unbelievable. Cause I'm, I'm doing a video for, for the show. Wow, absolutely. I got, definitely gotta talk. And it's called Nadan. That's the name of the boat. Yeah, where is it out of? You don't know? Yeah. Hailing port's Falmouth. Falmouth, yeah. Where they keep it, I don't know. It is so cool. I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have to talk to him. Thanks for the info. Look at that, guys. Huh? Okay, great. Thanks a lot, Chuck. Wow. Okay, look, perfect example of some of the stuff that Burger can build. Look at it. Look at it. And there's the the signature logo and badge for Burger. And they can build any guys. Well, in the Burger yacht that we did the sea trial on, it was. I called it the, <laughs> the smallest, biggest mini yacht in the world or something because it, it was so small, but it looked so large inside. Absolutely stunning. Wow. The finishes on that, guys. Some foul smell just, just hit the docks, guys. I don't know what, what the hell just happened, but... I hope, I, I hope I didn't swallow what I th thought I swallowed. Damn it. 
They got me. Oh yeah, we're gonna try to see if we can get our uh, our uh, walk on on one of these big old yachts. There's the uh, 26 North booth. Oh boy, we got a little tight spot here. All right, so we're continuing our walk here at Palm Beach. It's kind of cool, but the sun is, it's not terribly hot, but the sun is, it's a perfect day. There's no, there's no, not a cloud in the sky. We got an intrepid here. Supposedly, from what I was told, there's a brand new hole number one intrepid. Okay, this is okay. This is not the intrepid booth, but that's uh. All right, let's keep on walking. We're gonna go ahead and start making some rights and lefts and. And here are the docks, guys. I mean, this is why I always tell you guys: grab a cocktail and just walk with me, right? Your knee won't hurt, you won't sweat, you're just here hanging out. And keep in mind, if I see something I can try to get my um, myself on to do a dedicated walkthrough, I, I always try. So just look at the video section of my channel. Go to my channel and type in where it says videos, and you see my latest videos. And if, and if you guys don't know, I do the uh, chit show and you know, haul over content, a lot of content on YouTube when it comes to boats, so. <laughs> I always stay behind the camera more than actually on the camera. Somebody heard me talking with somebody, they're like, aren't you the chicho? I recognize your voice. I know, it's crazy. All right, so, here, oh. Oh, we got some. Okay, so hmm, how are we gonna do this? We're gonna have to pick our battles. So why would you want to oh. Okay, so you got Tiara, you got World Cat here. Um, this lady literally straight up behind me said, "Why would you want a World Cat? These little ones." She obviously hasn't been on five footers. Well, on a catamaran as opposed to a monohull. Because it's a big difference. Yeah. It's a huge difference, guys. Especially on rough weather. These boats are insane. I really like World Cat. They're very nice boats. Look, I'm going to show you one now on the way back. This is the 260cc. All right, let me show you one that I can show you guys. Why would you want this? Why would you not want this? Look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at the beam on this, guys. Very, very nice looking boat. This is the 400 CCX. This will be a partying machine, a fishing machine, a family machine, a get home alive machine. And uh, it's got a beam of 13 almost, dude. 12, eight beam. It's a 2022 Cat 400. Powered by, uh, by quad uh, 300s. Wow, absolutely stunning. All right, um, let's go this way, guys. Let's go this way. We got Pursuit and uh, 
What else we got over here? How are we doing with battery? We're doing pretty good. Maybe we'll go and mess, uh, mess around with a cowboy hat. He's in Albemarle. Um, he's got Pathfinder, Key West. When I say that cowboy hat, guys, I'm talking about Daniel from Tuppence Marine. So Daniel is, uh, I don't know, every time I go to these shows, Daniel's always fun to be around. So, And now that he's, he's got his dad bot on, we can actually have a drink and I won't feel so weird. Smash a like and comment dad bod here in the comment section if that's you guys. Are there any other broker houses that have Pursuit. Here. Oh boy. We got um we got CV in the house as well. Minky's out of Medley, Florida. Good fishing boat. Go look at a 32. This looks like they're 45. Very, very um, seaworthy boat when it comes to fishing guys. A lot of the fishing guys like these boats. I actually walked a factory, huge factory in Medley, Florida. Great, great uh, facility. All right, let's continue walking. What do we got this way? Oh, okay, we got Intrepid here. I want to see that new 50 something. Is it a 51? What is it? There it is, there it is, there it is. I see it. I see it. I see it. Oh man. It's on the other side right here, guys. Oh. Look at Jupiter. Where's Todd? Wait, wait, wait. Let's see if we can stalk Todd. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Damn it, I don't see him. He's got to be around there somewhere. All right, let's go see what's up with this. Let's see the size it is first. Smash a like if, uh, if you're a big fan of Intrepid, guys. See, I love the fact that these boats are in the water, dude. It gives them so much more justice. It's, 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 it's so much better to see them. Not that one. All right, let's go. Look, pretty good, pretty good spot, right? If you're an intrepid worker, you come over here, you get plastered, and then bam, you sell a boat and you get plastered again. Uh, speaking of a plastered, I got a, I did a chit show video. And I called it Tremenda Nota. Tremenda Nota means totally plastered in Spanish. Hey, 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 what are you doing? This is my territory. <laughs> Wait for it, bro. I got a crocodile in my backpack. You want to do this or what? You, you really want to do this? All right, man. Hey, where's the, this is the brand new one, right? Hole number one? Hole number one? Yes. Hole number one, guys. Wow. Oh, my goodness. All right, guys. This is it. This is it. Oh boy. Wow. They have hit it out the park. Guys. Top of the ninth. Base is loaded. Score is 9-9. Nine -nine. Last batter is up to back. 3-2 count. The pitch is thrown. Grand slam. Wow. Wow. Okay, I have not even gone inside yet. 
damn, I'm gonna have to take off my shoes. Or, or maybe I just ask for forgiveness later. What do we do, guys? Comment below. Let's see, let's see. Oh boy. That's right. So get the decks in dock. Oh my goodness. Please, no shoes. Um, whatever, bro. We got. We gotta go to commercial. I'll take off my shoes. Guys, I'm gonna take off my shoes. I wanna show you guys inside here. This is a number one, guys. Hall one. Welcome to Intrepid. Wow. All right. First things first. Look at this. Powered by Quad 600s. Man, let me tell you something, guys. Sometimes you see monsters and this is it. Look at the freeboard on this thing. So you, you stepped in and you feel like the lower center of gravity right here. And now you have a step up. Boom. Wow. I'm sure you can put all your electronics here, whatever you'd like. Now, from my experience, um, Intrepid, once you get into their cabins, they're breathtaking, guys. Absolutely breathtaking. But listen, this is, th th this is why I like to come to these shows, guys, to see stuff like this. Next level. This is next level stuff. Wow, they killed it. We're not, we're proud. Keep the sun out of your eyes. Welcome inside. There you go. Okay, I immediately got hit by the air conditioning. Looks like this drops down with a hydraulic uh, system and becomes a berth. You got a TV here. Oh man, this air conditioning is feeling perfect. What do you guys think? And then you have a whole separate head here. Oh, just in case, guys. You never know. Wait for it. Whoa. Damn, it is so big. Oh, man, guys, this is... They just keep getting bigger and bigger. And uh, center consoles. I mean, guys, this is the center console. Absolutely crazy. Beautiful boat, guys. Hey, do me a favor. Smash that like. I need to take a quick break. I'm going to put an ad for a hat. If you guys want to see the hat, hats, go to LuxuryRibTenders.com. That's LuxuryRibTenders.com. I'll be right back. All right. Absolutely stunning, to say the least. So it's called the 51 Panacea. It's a 1410 beam, 900 gallons of fuel. 51 feet and um, wow absolute monster to say the least all right um, so we're weaving in and out let's go see if we can pass by Jupiter and see these people are looking at the uh, information to find out where certain boats are but guys download the app trust me it'll tell you exactly where you're at all right here's jupiter now there was a beautiful jupiter at the miami show that we showed which was awesome absolutely crazy look at todd look at todd look at todd Look at Todd. Look at Todd. Look at Todd. We're gonna get him, guys. <laughs> we're, we're gonna. Oh boy. He's like, oh shit. Montenegro is coming. The hurricane. Yo, what's up with the. Uh, what is up with the helicopter just hovering over those? Alright. So, look, Todd is kind of showing that Jupiter right there. I don't know. We. 
we'll see guys we'll see how this materializes we got ever everglades let's go check out let's go check out uh jupiter oh this is the one this is the one this is the one right here this is the one that was at the show oh my goodness this is the one that was at the show i fell in love with this boat guys wait wait for it this is the boat i fell in love with right here wow that is a monster i'm not gonna give him a hard time guys he's working wait for it wait wait until the once i see wait wait until i i throw the hurricane out there i'm bringing up the category seven hurricane about to hit that other boat he has no idea i'm gonna get him guys look at these boats it would be cool to do a factory tour of uh, uh the jupiter factory huh what do you guys think Guys, we can we can make it happen. Wait for it. Welcome to Jupiter. These boats are out of this world. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> hey, you know I fell in love with that boat over there in the corner that was at the show. I wanted to walk that boat, and you're you're having a drink, having a good time somewhere. We're celebrating because we're always selling. So so okay. So what are you on right now? Right now we're on the 38. 38. A little bit of a redesign of the 38. Uh, we've got a different prep center in the boat right now. Okay. A little bit smaller in the backside, opens up a lot more cockpit space. And in return, instead of having the live oil here, we moved the live oil to the transom. So now I've got a nice big wraparound backrest, place to sit. Nice. Fishing starts, slide the cooler off, and we're fishing. Boom. Um, what's new? The newest is the 43 with the dual row seating. Go over and take a look at that one. You want to see that too? I mean, I, listen, I got, I got all day, bro. I have no, I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> I'm gonna end my day here with a drink with you. I know where they're at. All right. I already been told. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see the, the brand new one. Um, guys, let's go. Okay. So, Todd, introduce yourself because maybe some people haven't seen you for the first time. All right. Well, Todd Albrecht, president of Jupiter Marine. Uh, here we are at the Palm Beach International Boat Show, We're having a great time. We have five boats on display, starting with our 30, 38, 40, 41, and the flagship, the 43. The 41 enclosed. The 41 Sport Bridge. What? Oh my God, I fell, in, I fell in love with that boat. The boat is beautiful. All right, sure. let me take off my shoes real quick. Let's get on this boat, guys. Let's go ahead and take a walk through. Can you, can you lower that music on that boat so we can jump on? All right, guys, brand new, out the box. Let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick. Okay, so 43 foot. 43 feet. We've got triple Mercury V12 600s. Pushing this boat around 62 miles an hour with full load. As you come into the cockpit, one of the things that we had a lot of customers asking for was the boat was originally designed with mezzanine seating. Okay. They wanted dual row seating, but everybody was afraid of losing cockpit space. So we found a way to make it all work where the back of the dual row seat is the exact same location as the mezzanine seat. You gave up no cockpit space whatsoever, but we picked up a tremendous amount of tackle storage. You got all kinds of space for all your rigging, hanging lures, bulk storage, drawers, pull out cutting board, rigging area, big Plano boxes, get your lure tubes, pull out trash can, and then service access to the back of the generator. Okay, so generator on this, seat keeper. And an ice chipper. We've got the Frigibar 540 pound per day chipper. Wow. We also use their new electric diverter valve. That's a game changer. One ice chipper, I've got it diverted to two boxes. We've got it diverted down to the fish box in the floor for your fish, but I can also divert it above deck to a forward box. Above deck, nice, clean, good drink ice. Nothing else, you don't have to worry about anything. That's it, Nothing game else. game over. Yep. All right, so so let's go forward a little bit and check this out. Wow. 
Guys, stay tuned for this we're beast. We're using the release seats. Uh, that's been a staple for us for quite some time. But this is the first one. We're now using the Roswell shock mitigation. Some people might be more familiar with Roswell for their stereo systems. Very, very high-end components. They got into the shock mitigation. I'll tell you, it's a game changer for how uh, comfortable this is on the way out. Listen, um, when you're on rough waters, even on a boat this size. Absolutely. You listen. For, um, hey, we're the, not getting any younger. Yeah. Right? <laughs> listen, every day I wake up and something else hurts and I haven't even gone fishing. Yep. So, all right, tell me about the helm, Tom. Todd. So, we've got uh, triple 22 inch screens. Overhead, we've got our VHF, our stereo components, quick access switching, but we also have full Garmin Empire Bus digital switching. 100% of the boat's controlled from any one of the three screens, or if you download the Garmin Active Captain app, you can now control everything on your telephone. From the Active Garmin? Absolutely. Oh, wow, okay, that's nice. And I obviously see we got great visibility here. This is like perfect to go to the Bahamas and stay a couple days. Absolutely. Is that the idea? That's the idea. Let's take a look at the cabin. Well, while we're up here, we got a nice big glove box, and then over on this side, this is where we have our joystick steering. So you guys are gonna ruin the chit show for me with all your, your steering. What are you guys trying to do here, man? How am I gonna film, film the chit show at the, at the boat ramp? I've been seeing some of your boats over there at Black Point, by the way. Nice. So as you come down to the cabin, we've got our galley area here. Tons of storage, access to the breakers. Let me get in there real quick. Come on down. Let me get in there. Wait, one thing I wanted to mention, right? Because you were just standing up right quick. I'm 6'4". I'm 6'5", six, six, 225 and ripped. We are, <laughs> All right, so that's one of the first things that I noticed. You have plenty of head space if you Absolutely. want to come in and out and go into the head, right? Yep. So one of the changes we did to this boat is in the first generation, we didn't have a lot of storage down inside the cabin. Okay. So we made some changes to where the water tank and holding tanks were, were located in this boat. We've been able to pick up a tremendous amount of storage. So yes. now you go to the Bahamas, you've got a place for luggage or just extra gear. I still smell the resin in here. It smells this is a brand new boat. It smells brand brand spanking new, guys. Got your hanging locker. And I'm assuming that you have some access points also, and this is the head? Yes. Speaking of head, you know I got uh Daniel from Tuppence Marine in the head over there on a boat earlier. <laughs> I opened the door, he's in there with his cowboy hat. I'm not surprised. <laughs> every day every day that guy keeps on stalking me somehow some way he knows where i'm gonna be so you have a little bit of everything in here yep like family i mean let's go towards the bow because there's obviously a lot of, ha of happening things that happen at the bow all right guys ac option all that good stuff yep. on these right the helm and AC the can you close that door real quick so they can see that boom there it is, guys. Okay, so here's where here's where the party happens, right? This is it. Best seat in the house. Absolutely. We've got uh, Premier Performance Interiors in Sarasota. Does all of our upholstery work. They work really, really well with us as far as getting all the different foam packs and different densities. So once you sit in here with all this memory foam, it just gets more and more comfortable the longer you stay seated. We've got our folding armrests, our cup holders. Then here in the center, we do have a forward uh, cooler. Nice. Forward seating with the Teak uh, uh, Release Marine backrest to face forward. More storage. More storage. Is, is this boat sold or is it someone's boat? It's a factory demo boat, but it, it is available for sale. It's, it's, a, it's a demo boat, but it's available. Absolutely. Okay, hull number one? No, this is hull number uh, 36. 36. Okay, guys, this is a big boy. This is. Why haven't I seen this boat already? Why haven't I filmed this with you? customers so Just you've changed it around it looks different yep i feel like i'm getting cheated on right now let's start, let's stop the video hold on a second <laughs> all right guys all right so you got windless up here and um we have the ability to do a filler up here as well so that for some of our yacht tender customers that want full forward seating we do have a removal platform that goes here with a cushion we okay can also do a table or a platform in the center to make it one giant sun pad if they should wish okay so what what are we talking about fuel what uh, how much fuel can we hold 600 gallons 600 so we're going to bimini and back no worries about no fuel worries at all. you know uh, fuel, fuel fuel is really expensive far out there you know that right it's that like it triple the cost so we, we don't want to fuel up here if we have to right um, I see that we have also some switches here for, for the kids to go ahead and mess up with the music and all that good stuff. 
you know? Absolutely. Who's playing with the radio and they're doing it from over here? All right, um, price point for something like this, Todd. What are we looking at? Uh, this, uh, uh, spec this, like this. The way it's sitting here, you're looking at about the high 1.6. Uh, 1.6. We've got them anywhere from, say, 1.5 to, to 1.8, 1.9, just depending on how the customer wants it outfitted. What, 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 what uh, motor packages are you typically putting on these? Most of them have gone out either the triple 600s okay. or quad Yamaha 425s. But now with the new V10 Mercury, yes. I've got a lot of customers that have come on board. We're doing quad V10s on the next boat. We're nice. really excited for that one. Okay. Um, you got, I, I'm willing to go walk without shoes to the other boat. Can we show the other one real Absolutely. quick? Let's go guys, come on. I, I, don't, get a, I don't get these moments. Uh, it, Todd's too busy. He, he got, I, I got him famous at the boat shows and, and now it's, it's hard to say hello. <laughs> All right guys, let's go. All right, so. Okay, so tell me about this one here. All right. So, what we're ready to go get on is our 41 Sport Bridge. The way we have it powered here today is the first time we've put the twin 600s on this boat. Okay. The boat is running phenomenally well. Um, for a boat of this size, you know, coming in uh, about 24, 25,000 pounds with the twin V6s, we're running 56 miles an hour. We're seeing right at about 0.65 miles per gallon. The bottom, very similar to the... Very similar. All of our bottoms are pad bottom. We've okay. got a very unique pad de design. Okay. Uh, we find that pad does two things. It does a lot of things that steps do as far as giving the boat more lift and, and reducing the wetted surface, mm -hmm. but it won't allow the boat to spin out. Uh, if you've ever experienced that with step bottom boats, that's a big reason why we don't do them. Uh, it also concentrates the lifting load back here on the transom. This is where everybody's back here fishing and, and standing in the cockpit. We've got big heavy engines, so all that additional lift from the bottom of the hull just keeps the boat getting up on plane nice and level, never lose sight of the horizon. The older I get, the less I want to be on center consoles. I hear you. I don't know. I <laughs> I, is it a, an after 45 thing or something? <laughs> is there a club I don't know about? There certainly is. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm joining the club. Smash a like if you're already in the club. So you got a big 65 gallon live well back here on the transom. Nice and blue inside. Your beta's going to love that. You can see them swimming around. We got our gyro, uh, Sea Keeper gyro back here. Nice. And guys, for you that don't know, that's a stabilizer. So it, pretty much prevents the boat from rocking back and forth. Got our barbecue grill. I love this setup. As we come over here to the mezzanine seat, each individual one is coil wrapped. So we got refrigeration and freezer, whatever which one you wanted. Absolutely. Access to the batteries, breaker panel and battery switches. What's the weight on this? Uh, one of the things that we do on this boat as you'll see the track system all the way around yeah we do a soft enclosed uh, panel back here okay uh, easy to see why uh, we had the door and a slider but it keeps all that air conditioning up there and keeps it a nice enclosed bridge but on those really nice days remove it all have it nice and open it's, it's a it's a cool day over here in palm beach but that sun is is that florida sunshine Absolutely. that's that's beating down over the bahamas yeah you want to be able to sit up there and enjoy that air conditioning i really like this all right let's go ahead and check out a little bit more we guys we have some people coming in maybe we could show the helm a little bit right there all right, guys, he's going to show us the helm here. We got some people looking at the boat as well. Absolutely. This is why they love the, the chit show and all the crazy <laughs> stuff I do. It's so unscripted. Yeah, isn't absolutely. It? So, okay. So with this boat, we have two air conditioners. Uh, we have a 16,000 BTU down below in the cabin. We have an additional 16,000 BTU up here in the cockpit. Okay. And, and where's the generator for this? Uh, generator for this is, is underneath uh, where Kiefer's sitting right now. So it's serviceable from this side, also serviceable from the top. Let's go inside the cabin real quick while they finish up up here. Guys, we're going to go straight to the cabin, then we'll come back to the helm and show. This is, when I walked, when I walked this boat at the show, I was looking for you and I was like, where is Todd? All right, so. Well, we got a bunch of button pushers, so the lights are off. I'm going to get back here and turn the lights on just a second. Wow. Okay, so you see, this is, this is where... When I came in here, I was extremely surprised, Todd, of the beam. Like, and like, to have a nice big flat floor in here. You know, as boats get uh, in this size, you typically have very limited walkway, but we've been able to open it up and make this really nice and big. Six four. Six four. Plenty of headroom. You're, how much are you weighing though? One eighty. Uh, Two twenty-five over here. <laughs> but I'm ripped. I'm six five. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So we've got a nice big berth up front. I love this. You got I love the TV. This. 
There's tons of storage under the bed. We've got a very nice workable galley in here. I fell in love with I don't this know what boat. year it is for you, but I hope you come back. Uh, this is the year I'm good. Let's go. Guys, if you don't know, every three years I go one year dry, and this, this is not my off year. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when I'm at the show, sometimes they're like, is, there, is it your on or off year? Yep. So I'm on, guys. So and here we have a high-low table. This drops down. There's a cushion that comes into place, so this can become another sleeping area. And then because it's outboards and not an inboard uh, bridge boat, okay. we now pick up an additional bed back here. Great for families. Let me tell you something. This is, I mean, look, there's AC in here right now. Yep. There is AC in the other one, right? But it's a whole different um, customer, right? I'm that assuming, right? So based on what you want. All right, so 41 feet. I'm, I'm assuming you, if you want to do it in different colors and stuff like that, you can do it as well, right? Absolutely. So everybody's been turning on and off the yeah, lights. Turn the no, that's fine. Well, we, we, we got it. We, we, we got the Separate camera. Separate uh, stall shower. So you have so much space in here. And now, okay, so let's, let's go to the helm real quick so we can talk about the, a little bit of the fishing side because right now we just made some people very uncomfortable with their, with their, with their pro possible contract with another company after they seen this okay yep. so you're adjusting everything right now yep so we've got full uh, digital Ooh, switching i feel this air too guys Woo. okay so you're turning on the lights everything everything could be controlled through you through the screen that is correct okay so now you have customers that could want to have a setup like this but still be diehard fishermen Absolutely. Yeah, right. Because this towers is on this boat. We do, um, you know, T-top style outriggers. We do bridge release outriggers. We just really sit down with the customer and try and find out what are they trying to accomplish with the building of the boat. Now, can they have it full enclosed instead of absolutely we fully can enclosed? Solid fiberglass yes. bulkhead with real glass uh, windows yeah. and doors. Wow. This, I mean, the openness of this though it allows you to communicate with the cockpit. Everybody's part of the action from the from the guy driving all the way to the guy fishing in the cockpit. They all feel like they're together and communicating. We don't want that too much to togetherness. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on to the clink. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Keep the kids over there. All right. Um, so tell me what we got over here. Tell me a little bit about the helm. And, and obviously, right. you got all this space here to entertain as well. Correct. Correct. So we've got all of our Garmin instrumentation. Um, we've got our joystick. Everything's easy access. Everything's visible. Uh, one of the unique things we're doing. This isn't just for looks, this this gray color. Okay. It really cuts the glare down on the glass. If this was left white fiberglass, it'd be very difficult to drive at night. This, just mat it all out. You don't get the reflection on the glass. So, you know, operating this boat from an enclosed position, even without the tower at night, is really, really easy to do. Looking the boat from afar, it's deceiving how big it is inside there. It's 100% it's deceiving. So you can go into somewhere, you, people are not going to even know that, hey, you're camping there for a couple days. That's correct. You know, that's that's absolutely awesome. What's what's the fuel capacity on, on this 41? 500 gallons. 500 gallons. So you're still going over there back, you're good. Maybe some people in the San Juans over there in Seattle. Absolutely. Bremerton, all those absolutely. areas in Washington, guys. Um, what are we talking about price points on this? Uh, this boat's going to be at the same uh, price point. Uh, the way we've got it outfitted today, we're at 1.8. Boat show price, 1.55. 1.586, it says there. Well, come down it's, and see me today. It's, it's, ah, look at me. Hey, listen. Only right. the shit show viewers. <laughs> All right, guys. Mention Chit Show and you just saved yourself 30 Gs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where can they go again last time to go ahead and check out contact Jupiter? Contact us at uh, Jupiter Marine at www.jupitermarine.com or contact any of our dealers. All right, guys. I want to thank Todd and the Jupiter team, guys. When I tell you this thing is an absolute beauty, I fell in love with this boat. I'm so glad that we did it justice just now. Thank you, guys. I'll be back later. Mind. Alfred Monter, make a scene. Hey, I'm going to have to get a break. You see this? This is a brand new logo I've made right here. The nice. MIA hats. Yeah, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Wait for Alfred Monter, make a scene. Wait, I'm gonna, we're going to keep on walking. Relax. Out of this world. Wow, I'm going to miss her. Look at this. Let me give you guys real quick a profile. It's so nice to see her in the water too, guys. Wow. All right, let's continue here at Palm Beach. Oh man. What are the odds, dude? Nah, you know, it could happen, guys. I, I, I want to, but I'm not 17 anymore. This is what happens when you get older. You're like, it's not worth it. The risk reward is not worth it. All right, guys, from here, I think I saw 
a cowboy hat. And if we did, we're gonna see. Daniel from Dublin's Marine! All right, let's go. He might, he might not be there, who knows? I did see him earlier, but you know, Daniel's like a social butterfly. And he just likes to, uh, oh man, this lady's arguing with somebody in Portuguese or something, I don't know. Are we on FaceTime too? Here, look. What a show. All right guys, let's go and uh, check out Daniel from Tuppence Marine. Now keep in mind, there's food here. There's a lemonade stand and all that good stuff. If you're planning to have a heart attack, the West Palm Beach uh, Fire Department's got you covered. So don't worry about it. Nowadays, they, they got you. You're good, you know, don't worry about it. They'll clean you out, they'll clean the pipes. All right guys, look for a cowboy hat. And these are what I wanna see, the Pathfinders. Somebody was asking me about a 27. This is the 2023, hold on, hold on. Guys, just look for a ridiculous cowboy hat. If you see one, let me know. But like I said, Mr. Daniel from Tuppence Marine is a social butterfly. Hold on, hold on. Oh, there he is! There he is! There he is! And I caught him eating. I caught him eating. I caught him. Is this? Man, you just surprised this. Dude, come here! No, no, listen. Surprise visit, nothing. Get up! I want to go ahead and talk about your weight problem. What the hell happened to you? What's wrong with me? You're having a kid. No, I'm not. I'm not. Where's your wife? Are you taking over for her? No, we're just, you know, eating well, you know? You know, we got a baby coming soon. I don't know so. what to tell you, Alfred. Yeah. <laughs> my, 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 my camera is still thawing out. Are you out. alive? No, I'm not alive right now. Facebook? No, you know where I was just now? Where were you? With Todd at Jupiter. Yeah, Park. yes. <laughs> oh, how could I know? It's right there. Yes, it's yes. Spot over. All right. Um, it would have been nice if Todd would have texted me. Hey Daniel, here's a heads up. I'm sending the camera guy over there. Um, let me not have a pizza up. in my in my mouth while. Yeah. Let's see how much. What do you have pizza? left? Okay, so I got you. Come here. Let's go. Forget about food. You don't need food. You have enough in your system. <laughs> hey. So you're making fun of me because I'm fat, and then you catch me. You're not fat. You're you're a little bit. So you're slightly overweight. It's all right. We're gonna talk about boats. It doesn't matter. People don't care. Oh, we're not gonna show the old footage of you when you're slim and hot. All right, so, okay, what do you well, got over here? To the Palm Beach International Boat Show. I'm Daniel, and we're outdoors today. And that's Daniel Outdoors, are you plugging Daniel, your... Maybe a little bit. All right. <laughs> but listen, you know, we're Tuppence Marine. We've been in West Palm Beach since 1965. We carry a variety of different kind of boats. You might see our Key West boats, mm -hmm. our Hughes, our Pathfinder, Maverick, Albemarle, Nortec. You know, so oh. we got a little bit of something to fit everybody's Okay, needs. look. I want to I want to show the 27th Pathfinder and the new Pathfinder, the 24. The 24. Yes. Sure. Can you show me them real yeah, quick? Of course, real quick. We're All right, guys. 27. This is called the 27 Open. It just debuted. Probably. Okay, you got to speak up over towards me because remember, Two I don't have a mic ago. on you. Oh, okay. that's right. Yeah. yeah, I don't have a mic on you. Okay. So check out this is the 2700 okay. Pathfinder. We're calling this the Open series. Okay. Right. Do I have to take off my shoes to get in there? Or no, no. no you're We're okay. good. Big Yamaha V8 425 on the back on a Bob's machine jack plate, all right? Shadow caster underwater lights, Bennett trim tabs. All right, hop on in there. All right, guys, let's go on the 27 Pathfinder. So one thing you'll notice is that this bay boat has higher guns, because this one can go offshore, right? That's why it's right about the knee level. But it's very comfortable and we have those bolsters going around the whole side which are going to be very comfortable for fishing so we just start back here right this is like remember back in the old days they used to make a deep v pathfinder like this where you could fish off the back like this, right okay really cool. that's what people like about this boat you know it's really nice comfortable i do like that right there also yeah. awesome show them the seat 
Oh, actually, I got one out right okay, here. Okay, you got one there? So when you're fishing, you put it up, but if you're going to go riding, you got a really comfortable seat right here. All right? You got in-floor fish boxes. Nice. Really nice. Basket, and that's a macerator pump out. Let's show them the live well here. Look at that. It's like a 22-gallon live well right there with the air bubbler. You need more live well space? You got another one right here. Boom. Bada bing. I like this. Aquarium windows. Nice rod holder storage here so you can put your rods here while you're prepping them. Let's show everybody the bilge too. You know, some places they don't show you that, but I want to show you here. And I like to point out, look how it's all smooth finished. So there's a separate mold that gets put in there for the bilge. Keep it all nice and smooth. You got five gallons storage there, fresh water, live well pumps. Everything is very easy to access so you can work on your boat. All right? That's what I love about it. All right, we got rod storage under the gunnels. You got raw water, fresh water, and you also have another raw water uh, spigot up front. Check out the LeBrock seat right here. Double wide, very comfortable. You can lean or sit. Edson tilting wheel, jack plate switch, large 16 inch Garmin display, Yamaha CL5, JL audio, M6 stereo with amplifier. You got a Ritchie compass located right in front of the wheel, so you're not having to lean over to the center. That's the right way of putting it. All right, really cool. You got all your switches right here, in which I like them. You know, it's simple on and off. There's nothing to break. This is gonna last forever. Bennett trim tab switches, start, stop. I don't know if you guys know, but you know, the, a lot of these new boats, they don't have keys anymore. It's just a key fob, kind of like your car. You put the key fob in your pocket. Okay. You get on the boat, you push the start button. Boom, it starts right up. Boom. That's part of the EKS system that Pathfinder's putting on these boats because it also works as a security system. Uh, if you're away from your boat, you can lock it and nobody's gonna be able to start the ignition of this boat. That's really cool, All right? And then here's our digital Yamaha binnacle control, our autopilot, and our joystick. Probably people are wondering, Daniel, why, what is a boat with a single engine doing with a joystick? Well, well, I can tell you, it actually, you can drive this boat with that joystick. It really? Can, yeah, it can't do everything that twin engines can do, but you can still enjoy the boat. So here's how I This is going to ruin the chit show. Why? Because you, how are they going to, they're going to always dock perfectly every yeah, single time. You know how you say whiskey throttle? You just put yes. a video up to, to yeah, Yes, and whiskey there was a girl. throttle. The girl was approaching the boat Oh, ramp, yes, and yes. And the dock line was in the water. Yes. And then she ran up here to go grab the dock line. Yes. She left the boat in gear. Yes. Yeah, you remember that? I you saw that episode. Uh, I, 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 it, was, it was so amazing. I didn't even put a commentary yeah. on it. Well, if she would have had the Yamaha joystick, she goes like this, she's going forward. The moment she leaves the helm, boat goes to neutral. You're not gonna have the slamming of the dock. So, so should crazy. she sue her husband? She, she, they should have bought the joystick. No, but she head. should probably sue her husband for not getting the joystick in the beginning. Yeah, but you know, the, the boat ramp is always a testament of your relationship with your wife. I mean, that is where tensions run high. I have a shirt you that know? says, sorry what I said at the boat ramp, babe. I like that, I mean, that's what you need to get <laughs> LuxuryRiftTenders.com. Check it out, guys. Yes, yes. Hey, right. Look at the hard top. All right, go, all right, guys. Check out. Look at these outriggers. All right, okay. built in. Okay, the explain top. for people what they, what are outriggers because they might not know. Well, we use them at the boat show to hold flags, but when you have outriggers, it's to widen your spread when you're fishing. Yes. So the ocean is very big, right? But if you're only fishing a 10 foot beam, that's a 10 foot span of the ocean. A rod on one side, a rod on the other Correct. side. And you're, and you're driving forward so the baits are behind you. We use your outriggers. Now, if you can go 15 feet on each side, well, you add them up. You know, 15, 15 is 30 plus the beam of the boat. Can you open that one so, up or move it so they can see what it, what yeah. what happens here, guys? Yeah, I, wa I want you to see because I get this question a lot. Okay, you see that? Boom. See how I did that? Yes. Now on my line, I'm running my teaser reel all the way out there, right? Yes. So, the fish that are at the bottom of the ocean, I'm going to be able to cover an area that's maybe 45 feet in, in width, right? Yeah. So I can go 45 feet that way, turn, come back to the other way, 45 feet. I've just covered 90 feet. Well, you couldn't do that 90 feet if you didn't have Of course. Right? All right. So we talked about that. We got a glove box down here. We got electricity under there, right? So you're going to be able to charge your phone. Tackle storage under the helm seat, okay? Um, there's storage up here on the hard top. We got Geo blue, audio, blue I like lights. that. Those, by the way, are M6s. You know, M3s on here, right? That's amplifier. That's the big magnet on the back. Okay. White powder coat. 
We got rod holders here on the side of the console. Guess what? They're going right through the hard top. Look at the cutout. Oh, the hard I top. like that. Right, little details. Oh, I like that. That's 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 a smart that's a smart move. I like that. Front and back. Check out this. This is optional. This is a fiberglass reinforced cooler. Hold on, hold on. Let me get up here. Let me get up here. Okay, so this is I love I love the space over here to fish already. And the steps. You know, yeah. The steps are big enough for you not to trip on them. You're gonna you're gonna see them. And you're gonna be able to get up to the front. Of the and boat. the older you get, you don't want to do that big giant step. You just want to do two steps, two small steps. Exactly. Old people can relate, guys. Fiberglass reinforced cooler up here. Very big. Okay. Friction hinges. All right, we got that. There's storage under here. All right. Okay. This boat does have an auxiliary fuel tank. Okay, what do, what do we have a, a fuel fuel capacity yeah. on something like Over this? Over 120 gallons. Over 120? Yes, sir. Okay, because we don't have all day, yeah. and Daniel can show you the boat for six hours because he knows that much of them. Well, I do. This, I, I didn't get to finish everything. I well, didn't I, get to the bow. I know, I know, I know, I know. But this is every show. Dan, Daniel, this is every show. This, okay. okay, we have two other boats. Okay, you want to see the Pathfinder 24, yes. which just debuted. It's brand yes. new. It's right over there. Yes. My next boat, I'm probably going to be trading six, in the Key West, guys, six, I'm sorry. Six minutes. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's Key go. Key West is going back. I'm buying one of these 24s. Okay, so. Show them all these rod holders while we're getting off. By right. the way, there's a toilet in the couch. There's a toilet in there? Okay. Oh, sorry, a head. Okay. You're going to rail. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. The there's the bathroom. Oh, no. Good, no. Yamaha uh, 425. You buy the boat during the boat show, you get seven years of warranty, baby. All right. Okay, what's 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 the most affordable center console you have here right now? Right here, reduced pricing. I got okay, right quick. This Key West, seventeen twenty. Look at this okay. baby. Okay, how much? Boat, motor, and trailer, thirty thousand dollars. Thirty thousand. Come on down and see Daniel Caravan. Look at this beautiful boat right here. Seventeen twenty. Thirty. Thirty grand. Thirty grand plus taxes and dealer fee. Dial, uh, dealer fee is what? Six, sixteen. Sixteen thousand. Six hundred dollars. Ah. And, All right. Yeah, but okay. That's a great price. Okay, hold, hold on, guys. Listen, we're gonna talk about this right now, Daniel. Oh yeah. Wait. All new model. Wait. Four hundred. Daniel. What? What's up? Look at that little red thing right there. What does that say? You're out of battery. That's it. We have to leave. You see that? You you hogged up the whole thing. All right. Well, stay tuned. Alfred. No, no, no. no we're gonna get another. We're, another we're gonna get another battery, guys. Hold on. We we'll be right back. Wait for it. I have, but I don't really have it. <laughs> All right. Hey, let's get on this before the masses. That's right, folks. You're looking at, with my eyes, the perfect boat for a okay, okay. guy who likes to go to the sandbar. Is this, is this? Do the cruising. Okay, Daniel, hold on. Time out, Daniel. You talk so much. You talk more than me. I have to interrupt, guys. I'm the star of the show, and Daniel tries to take over everything. Are you saying that this is the perfect family boat because now you're going to have a family? Yes. So you're changing your boat because of that? Yes. Okay, that's it. Yeah. See that? We can leave now, guys. Daniel, thank you. I'm just kidding. Go, go. Come on. All right, All right go. So let's look at this, right? What we've introduced is a new swim platform. The old 24 is gone. These are the new 24s, the Open and the TRS. This swim platform right here with the ladder that tucks in, super nice, okay? Integrated trim tabs underneath, underwater lights, jack plate. This is the brand new Yamaha 300 XSB with the integrated electric steering. It's got electric fly-by wire. This baby is awesome, all right? And we have a shower system here, too. So how new would you say this boat is? This is 2023. Okay. You get off, you know, you're swimming, you come in, you can shower yourself off. Or the baby. Water, or the baby, if you have a baby. What's his or her name? You know, I like Leo. I'm pushing my wife for that name. I honestly, my first pick was Dan, but she, wow. she didn't want that. Daniel, she Daniel likes, Jr. She likes Connor. She says all the Connors that what she about? are good looking Connors. I said, that's not a nice Latin name. You know, that thing with Leonardo's not either. All right, well, listen, Alfred. Whatever she likes, whatever Alf the wife Alfred is or Fred? Yeah, Alfred's a nice name. Fred. Fred, that's a nice name. Fred. But my wife's got to be happy with it, you know? Okay, Edward. yeah. Oh, well, listen, we're going to have to, guys, comment Fresh below if you like any of those names. Freshwater fill, yeah. Comment below what Daniel should name his baby next yeah. month, two weeks away. All right, guys. <laughs> All right, so welcome aboard, guys. I'm going to invite you to the hospital and do a walk through the hospital. We're going to do a walkthrough of the baby. All right, okay. guys, here's the baby. Yeah. <laughs> so right here, some people think this is a stripper pole, but it's not. It's actually a tow, so you can tow your kids. You know, you go tubing. Yes. This is what it's for right here, all right? Um, 
really nice deck here. You come up here and you do your castings. You got plenty of space. It's a nice step up, right? Stepping up. You can step onto the swim platform. Very easy. That's what we really like. I like got that swim platform too. Yeah, two live wells. We put the live well blue on the inside with the air bubbler, okay. all gasketed, and it's got a recirculating system. Use two, one on each side. Friction hinges with nylon nuts. It stays open right where you leave it. It stays flush mounted hinges. Okay. I'm I'm standing on this and it's not even cracking or anything. You know that, right? Of course not. This, that, you know what that is? Look at this. Slide it over. Flip it up. Look at this seat. So if you're fishing when you want fishing. Your wife wants to sit in the back, have the baby here. This is a very comfortable seat right here. So is this going to be your boat and you don't, you're not trying to sell this one because you want this one? Well, no, this one's for sale. I'm going to order one down the road when okay. my manager, Jay, ever lets me. Oh. Who knows? You know, I got to be nice to him. So you All got right. grab handles here to hold on to. And you think, there's no waste of space here. Guys, look at this. What? Look at this. Oh, nice. Storage under here. Okay. Let me take this off. So you can take it off and clean it if you want to. But and look at the access, man. You know, it's like, I love when engineers build a boat that you could fix, you could work on. You got your fresh water pump, your raw water pump, your fuel water separator, your live wells, your crew holes, your fresh water tank, your live well pumps recirculating. Everything is here very easy accessible. Daniel, they haven't petitioned you to, to not wear the cowboy hat in Florida? I have to. That's how people remember me. You know how many people come see me at the boat show and they say, hey, there's Daniel. Hey! Because of the cowboy hat. That's right. Right here, look, you can sit here, work on your lines, right? You put your rods. Look how nice this tackle is. Let me see. Let me have here. a seat here. This is actually pretty good. Look I at like this that. Storage right here for your tackle. Okay. Okay. People ask, oh, where's the house battery going to go? What? Look right here. Look at the access you got. It's your house battery. Super easy to work on. Okay. Easy access. Love it. Important. Very, very and, important. And it's lockable. Come around on this side. Is you're saying, Daniel, I need tackle box storage. What? Look at this. What? What? All gasketed. So you're going to have that there. It's perfect. This is a LeBrock seat. Fresh water, raw water, boutique under the gunnels. So you can store you know, your rods there. And they're not going to bang on the side because you got that really nice cushion right there. You got JL Audio M6 speakers, cup holders, rod holders. They even say Pathfinder on them. See? Right here with Pathfinder, you got pull-up cleats, and everybody knows you got to stay out of the sun. That's why I wear the cowboy hat. You got to protect yourself from uh, skin cancer. Yes. Right? And all this really, really bad stuff. Shade. Look at this. Boom. You can put a rear shade. Nice. That's for the shade poles. Okay. They cover up. They look super nice, super clean. Any shade Rich. poles you recommend? Well, these are made by a company called Marine Town. They're awesome. And you can order them right from the factory with the shade. Okay, this nice. This boat has front and rear shades. Nice. Okay, check out the LeBrock seat. What? Double wide, very comfortable. I kind of call this the love seat because you know what? You're going to sit here and your kid's going to want to sit right next to you or your wife and you can get very comfortable. There's no armrest in the middle so you can get close and that's what it's all about. Can't hear the music? Don't worry about it. Speakers are right in your face. Look at that. You're not going to have a problem. Those are the M6s. Hard top's got lights on it. You got the rod holder storage on the side of the console. It's gonna go right up through there, the tips. Same thing here, I love this. Yeah. Super, super nice. light powder coating package. We got the Edson wheel, jack plate control, Yamaha CL5, Garmin 16 inch screen, JL Audio, this is the brand new MM105. This is all your toggle switches right here. Electronic shifting. You can option the boat with autopilot and a joystick if you'd like. Okay. okay. We got a glove box below that. Okay. And we, there's electricity under there so you can charge your phone. All right. Let's come around on this side. This side, Alfred, over here. My bad. My bad. So, folks, I want to show you where the battery switch is because if you knew, you probably don't know. Look at that. Boom. There's your engine battery switches and the breakers. Really nicely tucked away there. Check out that interior. Let me go in there. Should I go in there and show people? Go ahead, go fits? ahead. We gotta show the hat angle. Okay. So if someone say, oh, it looks like Daniel can't fit in there. Well, here you go. I give you six months and you won't fit in there. We got space for your teak table. Look how nice this is. All factory option. Very nice. Very nice. That just goes right here. This whole trolling motor batteries go up here. 
you got your breaker right here, on off for the battery switch, and there is a breaker for the troll motor batteries, which is located in there. More breakers here, JL Audio amplifier, okay? And notice it's all finished in here, right? So it's, in order to make this console like that, you've got two lines, right? you got the outside mold and the inside come together. That's how it's all smooth and nice. you got a window. This is very comfortable. You just want to get your business done and get out of there. Get out of there already. We don't need to be smooth and nice and all that while you're... For that, you have a phone or, or like a Pantene bottle that you go ahead and just read the back of if you miss it. Your, your phone is unavailable. Spring line cleats right here. Check out how nice that is. It's going through and it's attaching to the hull, right? It's very strong, okay? It's your spring line cleats. Check out where we put the navigation lights. They're built into the T-top. More speakers here. Look at the cushions. Look at these. You got dogs in your family? They're going to love laying up here. This is comfortable. You got an armrest. You got a place to hold on. This is where the table goes. Mounts right here. You got a fish box. You know, Daniel, what if I want to go fishing? Take all the cushions, leave them in the garage. You can put all your yellowtail snapper and muttons right in here. Wow, you're making me visualize. Stop, you're selling me this boat. Or crabs, maybe, if you're into getting, catching crabs. With South Beach, you get them free. <laughs> That's where you put the anchor. You got a designated spot for that. And the troller motor plug is already ready to go for Nice. It. This is the front shade folds I was telling you about. We got the front and the rear shade. And when you ever come on one of these boats, I want you to feel the non-skid too. The non-skid is a diamond pattern. They went away from the roll-on, spray-on non-skid. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. You're really gonna like this non-skid. Nice. And remember, these cushions are all removable. So you got lots of storage under here. Oh, that's nice and deep. Yep, that's what she said. Oh! Look right here, you got through bolted with nylon nuts, all gasketed, smooth finish. I like a boat that they properly know how to attach a gas shock, right? Remember, the fat part always goes up. I see a lot of walkthrough videos on YouTube, and I go, how did that boat manufacturer for a million dollar boat put the gas shock on backwards, right? There's, a, there's like five drops of oil in there that need to... They need to soften that little gasket. Look who's there! Hey. Robin from Adrenaline! Adrenaline. There they are. I'm gonna see you guys in a little bit. Okay. All right. Wait for it. Wait we have a lot to talk about. And I saw your trip to the Middle East too. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that. We had a royal trip. I know, I saw. Oh, look at Mike over there. Hey, hey come over here, man. We're gonna say hi to you too over there. What do you guys got over here? Two Reapers. Oh, I'm getting scared already. Okay, 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 but hold on. The real question is, at what point are you guys gonna let me room room one? Wait, you, come on. I, I, I listen. I'm, I'm tired of walkthroughs. I want a room room room. Mike, are we gonna do this? We're gonna do it. All right, all right. I'm gonna catch you guys in a little bit. Okay. Tell Give him a ride back to Jupiter. I, I, <laughs> all right, guys. Okay. Adrenaline and power boats over here too. I love this. Maybe How? they could like take one and pass with the other one while you're filming with one on your way up to Jupiter, you know, in the same exact spot. Yeah, and then wet it everything. Bring up yeah. old memories. Yeah, wet, you guys, it's a, it's, a, it's a horrible day when yeah. you're, oh, let's just say that the Daniel splashed a thousand pounds of water. Okay, Daniel, so look, this 24, let's talk about yeah. serious now. Wait, 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 I was gonna finish, so the gas shock, Le right, stop, stop criticizing of the gas locks. Have, All right. They have lights in there. Money, money, the narrow. Well, yeah, people want to know the you money. Can go online right now, pathfinderboats.com. You could build this boat. I want to say the price starts at one hundred and thirty thousand dollars. Okay. Base. Okay. All right. You're gonna start optioning it out. You, once you select all the options you want, you're probably gonna be at about one hundred and eighty thousand, and that's retail with the trailer, the beautiful custom Ameritrail trailers that they offer. Okay. But, all right. What, what do we got? Fuel. Work with your local dealer, and we're gonna get you a great price. Fuel tank. Fuel tank. Huh? Oh, how much? It's eighty. 80 okay yeah, let's show the profile of the boat real quick because yeah, I, I i you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna hug up my whole day and then yeah. everybody else is gonna get mad at me people love this boat they're gonna go out there they're gonna go to the sandbar they're gonna enjoy with their family and then the days they want to go fishing they go fishing too I hey love it. i'll trade you hats look i got my mia hat no you're crazy it was, i'm gonna be ridiculous over here in florida with a cowboy hat from texas or nashville yeah. people see that and they notice you know they, they know. really like it Let's go, guys. Let's go. Come next? here. No, come here. I, um, there, there's a spark I want to see. I saw a boat over there in the front called the Spark. That's a Sparks 46. Sparks 46. Okay, do you know anything about that? Did you, have you scouted? Okay, let me know what you've seen. That's pretty go cool. Talk to Bob, my okay. friend Bob Sparks. Okay, hold on. What have you seen that you thought was cool? Well, 
listen, you know, Daniel tends to spend his whole life at boat shows. You know, I tend to show up early and I stay late. So I've kind of walked this whole boat show. And there's a couple boats on my list that I gave Alfred. Which is Alfred, one? you got to check these out. Which is what? Well, one of them that's at the top of my list is all number one of Bob Sparks all new design. It's called the Sparks 46. You got to check it out. Okay, we're going to work our way that way. Walk right over there. But, but what you should do if you're coming to the boat show. Okay. Let me show you how you do this. A lot of people don't know this, right? Okay. You take your phone out. You want to download the Palm Beach International Boat Show app right here, okay? This is a free app to download on your phone. Okay. Because a lot of times people come here and they don't know where they're going. Yeah. How are they going to find the boats that they came to see? You can go right here. You can search for boats. You can search okay, for Okay, go to boats. Go to boats. Well, go to well, boats. Well, the thing is, he, he probably didn't go in no, there. No, no. Put, put, put adrenaline. Put adrenaline. I want to see if it shows up they, right now. We just they did. Probably didn't, okay, so, so just put adrenaline. They're not on. No, no. No, ad no. AD. You got to put AD. I you did. put ALD. Did. No, you didn't. You put A D right here. You there see, you go. You see? They show up right yeah, of course, of course, they do. Right? Okay. And okay. Their click logos in there. Okay. It's gonna tell you right where their booth number is. Which 1159. is 1159. Okay. Which is okay. which is where? Now show me the map. Out. Look at this. View on map. You click a button. Okay. It's gonna show you right on the map where they are, where you're going, where okay, you're at. Okay. So where are we at right now? Where so are we at? We're right here, Tuppence Marine. Okay. Okay. Tuppence. This is the Tuppence Marine. Booth. Okay. And then you come right here. That's where they're at. Beautiful. And you could actually route to right there. You're gonna wow, that's, it, that's awesome. Look at this. You're going to say, I'm at the Tuppence Marine booth, and it's going to give you the lines exactly on how to get to where you're going to go. Okay, I don't know if the camera's picking up. Let's show yeah, the profile yeah, of this. Come here. Of yeah, yeah, listen, there is. We'll Guys. The step. This is a okay. Step See that right there? The color is called Azul Blue. Azul? Azul Blue. Custom welded Ameritrail trailer. Have you done a sea trial on this boat yet? I have not. You have not. Fortunately, both I've sold this boat two times before, and both customers told me, oh, I've been boating my whole life. I don't need a sea trial. And that's just like a heartbreak to me, you know, because I love getting out on the water and showing people how to use their boats. That's the whole part about selling them a boat, getting them, you know. You want a day off it. on the water. Hey, I gotta go work. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> I gotta but, go work. But they tell me, no, Daniel, I'm good. I know how to run this boat. And then the other supplier, the, the Steve will go and do a test drive. Yeah, yeah. You know how All right, where can they go? Tuppence Marine? TuppenceMarine.com. TuppenceMarine.com. Ask for Daniel, because you know there's five other salesmen that want to steal my publicity. But Daniel from Tuppence no, Marine. You're going to ask for Daniel, because you're going to have the most fun with me. That's what matters. And he probably won't be wearing memory. his hat when you see him, guys. That's the boat show hat. That's the boat show hat, guys. All right, well, listen, congrats on the, on the little baby. Thanks, and uh, send, them some, uh, send us some pics. Well, you'll see if you keep following along. I'm going to be bringing him to the boat show. All right. Guys, Daniel from Tuppence Marine over here. Hey, wait for it. Daniel is a character. They also represent North Tech, guys. And you know, Tron and their team over there in North Tech at the Fort Lauderdale show has always given us love and they've done a, a lot of walkthroughs. All right, guys, let's continue walking. And uh, I told you, this is going to be a long video. Now, I wanted to change it up a little bit, this show. This, that's kind of like why we're doing the video the way we are. Ooh, I do have a situation though. Ooh, I need to get some power. All right, well, we'll figure it out. I got, I got to charge my batteries. Look at this 41 Bahama. Let me see if we can get up here somehow. Is there anybody up here? No, there's not. 41, right here, guys. Wow, look at the space on this guy. No, these boats are badass. Look at the amount of fishing room you got there. Crazy. Here's the 37. Super nice. All right, guys. I didn't notice that boat that he talked about. I don't know of it, to be honest with you, but I did see it and... Hey, listen, if they don't give me love, I don't know, I can't do anything, guys. Hold on, let me throw this water. I have a water in my back pocket. 
Wait for it. Hey, there's some. Uh, yeah, what's going on? We're filming the chit show right now. All right, guys. All right, we got Kobe up here. We did see Atlantic Marine here as well. In the Miami show, I had a, a good walkthrough of all the Kobe boats, guys. So ch check that out on my channel. You guys, whenever you hear that you got a babysitter, you're gonna end up in jail. That's it. I know, that's what it is, guys. You got a babysitter. How'd I get here? What happened? If you can't take the kids, you're coming to jail. Nah, nah I'm just kidding. Hey. <laughs> Common dad bod, guys. Dad bod for the win. All right, we got contenders here. Here's what's kind of cool, right? Now we'll start seeing some boats that we usually don't see. We got to look good. Now there's much more boats that we, we were unable uh, to get to, guys, because it's just, it's almost impossible to get to everything all in one day. And realistically, I'm only going to come for one day. It's kind of far from where I'm at. So just one day today. I'm good, thank you. I don't know, was that a low key hit on? I don't know, guys, comment below. My wife, look at this guy. What the? This guy has a gimbal. Oh my goodness, he's got a camera and a gimbal. What am I doing wrong? Wow. All right, here we go. Wait for it. What do you guys think? Comment below. Active Thunder over here at the show. Look at the size of these outboards, guys. Just for reference, this gentleman right here to our right is about 6'6". He's about my size. And uh, these Cape Horns are super badass. Very good riding boats, guys. I did uh, that video in uh, Annapolis with the twin the Ox Diesels. I had never been on one of those boats and it rode so nice. This is a 39T. I don't even remember the size that I was on, but it rode very nice. Very nice riding boats. I was really impressed. And those, those had twin, uh, twin uh, 300 uh, ox diesels on it. But look, this will be a reason why. Look at this. This is why. Look at that. You ain't stuffing that thing out of hollow. I, I guarantee you that. Monster. Oh, look at him, look at him, look at him. That's it. I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him, guys. I got him. I got him. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Stay quiet. Stay quiet, stay quiet. He doesn't know. He has no idea. You're buying. Yeah! <laughs> Are we live right now? No, we're not live. Go. Continue, continue. Go, go, go. I just wanted to say hello, guys. Atlantic Marine here with the Seaborne boats, guys. Which, if you guys didn't see the podcast that Alfonso and I did, it was very informative. For a lot of my audience, he did a podcast and he put it on his channel and I put it on my channel as well. Bro, tell me you have the pen. Do you have the pen and we could sign it? He doesn't give it to me, bro. Are you serious? What a hater because everybody else got their hat signed and he doesn't want you to have your hat signed. Bro, bro, that is a disgrace. Even got a sunburn. Bro, that is a disgrace. Even got a sunburn. Wait, 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 hold on. You, you didn't let him get the pin so I can sign the hat. <laughs> well, I want to keep it limited. I want to keep it limited. Oh, I, but I, I, I mean, this guy does everything for you guys. <laughs> Come here. Come here, Frank. Frank, are you going to let him hate on you I'm like that? I'm forging myself. Hey, you know, 
No, what are you talking about? You heard that? You heard that. Oh my wow. God. I really thought you said me, Jay. All, right, all right. So listen, Palm Beach. Yeah. I was here early in the morning, but you guys are running on Cuban time, bro. Oh, for sure. 100%. 100. 100. So this is, uh, look, I'm wearing my AMIA hat, so. I saw a beautiful hat. I like Wait it. Wait for it. What's no. up with the, the Tremenda Nota one? Tremenda Nota. All right. Oh. That's going to be another hat we're talking about. Okay. So we did the podcast. Mm -hmm. Good response. Excellent response. Seaborn here. Yes. What do we got to show here at the show? Do we got anything nice and juicy we can show them? The new LX26 okay. over here. This is the, the new mean machine. 26 feet, six feet, ah, 26, six long, nine and a half wide. Comes with twin garments, underwater lights, step hog, hard T top, full sound system by Fusion, Optimus steering, 360 joystick. I mean, the list goes on and on. Can and we on. get up there? Absolutely, let's go. Do I have to take off my shoes or are we good? You can do whatever you want. Thank you, bro. You know what? You make me feel like a superstar, bro. You really do. Alfonso. Go for it. Let's go, guys. Hey, this is what happens when you're royalty over here. Now they're, <laughs> now they're gonna throw me off the boat. What are you doing? No, clean the boat after he's done. <laughs> All right. Wait, is there a is there a possibility we can go to the Seaborn factory and do a video? Why not, right? Why not? Why let's go. All right, make you it happen. Wanna be itchy? A lot of fiberglass. Let's go. What sounds? How let's, you doing? Let's go. Hi. Go. Let's go. go. That's right. All right, guys. Seaborn. Okay, what's it? What's uh? I'm I'm gonna. Just in case. Ah, oh, oh, but hold on, bro. We're right under a tree. It's all for show. It's all we're right all under a tree. Show. All right. Welcome aboard the Seaborn LX26. This bad boy is nine and a half feet wide, 26 six long. They should have been called a 27, but they kept it as a 26. It does feel very big. It's really big. It's really it, wide. It feels big. 62 to 65 miles an hour top speed. All right, so it's fast. And, and you have a bunch of these videos on your YouTube channel, right? Yes, I do. What's the YouTube channel name? Atlantic Marine Store. Okay, so you have videos and we can probably try to link this to this video. Yeah, we could. Okay, so tell me about the helm. Tell me what we got. Okay, helm, here we go. Suzuki controller, fly-by-wire. You got the Optimus steering, which is basically power assist. Push start, all the push buttons right there. Hard T-top, underwater light, twin garments. Nice. And obviously the 360 joystick. Lots of storage, twin live wells. If you just want to have like a family out, outing, you got the, the table out here. You can eat your pan comité or whatever it is. Pan comité sounds good right now. <laughs> That's a steak sandwich, guys. A steak sandwich. A Cuban steak sandwich. How you doing? Good. Um, I'm walking the show. I've seen a lot of cool boats. Okay. I've been seeing this on your socials. Yes, sir. And then I was like, oh my God, I got to go ahead and see. And this is the first time I've, I, I think I've seen you guys here. The real good thing about this one is the competitive price. When you go look at a 26 out there, you're at 220, 240. This one right here, fully loaded, is 189. 189. Yeah. Okay, so is that is that including a trailer or trailer not? Trailer included. Trailer included. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are in Hialeah, but we're in Palm Beach right now. How does that work? Doesn't matter. We could uh, we take care of Palm Beach. We could take care as far as Broward and Dade County. We're wow. a seaborne dealer for them. Whatever they need, we'll go take it to them. If we have to pick up the boat, we'll pick it up. But man, you're not gonna have and, any issues. And you guys are a big Suzy Repower dealer down oh, in Miami. Oh yeah, we are huge Suzuki Repower. I'm, I'm telling you guys, I see all I see at the boat ramp is this shirt. I actually got one of these. I got a rocket too, guys. <laughs> and I see this, and then I see a Suzuki, and I'm like, Alfonso sold them a Suzuki. Absolutely. And if you guys mention uh, Atlantic Marine on his channel, I'll throw some shirts out at you guys. All right, guys. Okay, so you said so six, 60, yeah. six, 60, 60. Two, 63 miles an hour? Yeah, 62 to Top. 65. Okay, um, and what's powering these? Twin 250 Suzuki's fly by wire. Two, okay, twin 250s. Yeah. Is this their biggest models that they no, have? What they do they have? have a, they're coming out with a 28, and then after that, they're gonna come out with a 30. Really? But this is one of my favorite. The 26 is where it's at. It's, it's, it's not a small boat, but it's not a big boat, and you can still trailer it. So if you wanna go to the Keys, you have no problem. And she shallows really, really, really light, and then you go offshore. Yeah, you guys, you guys are putting these things at Hallover Sandbar too. Oh yeah, definitely. So tell me about the like for partying, like if you're with well, your family and they gotta go to maybe when the me head and you or. Go on the seaboard, we'll, we'll go on the sandbar and go party. I want to take you to Black Point one day Let's and go. give you a mic and show you the the Black Point Chicho experience. As long as I can interview the people that are sitting in the long chair. No, center. they're gonna throw me out of there, bro. What do you? Why? If they throw me Dude, out, no, it no, doesn't matter. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't want to get thrown out of the out of the boat ramp. Okay. So look, yeah. Alfonso, don't heat me up even more than what I am. <laughs> all right, all right. So we have a nice head there. So that, that's, a, that's a lot of storage too. A lot of storage. So if you're gonna kind of go far for a couple of days, you can put a, a bunch of, of stuff I'm in there. I'm taking this to Bimini. Really? Oh yeah, 
No problem. Have you guys done any like Atlantic Marine sponsored Bimini long trips? We have. We're doing one with Miami Boat Rally. Soon? And we're going to do the Bimini trip and then we're going to do the Isla Morada one. Nice. How do they get inf information on that? Go to our website, Atlantic Marine Store, or go to MiamiBoatRally.com. Awesome. Okay, so give your, your website one last time so they can have it and All they right. can reach out to you. Maybe get your email or your phone number. That's fine. You Go. Ready? Go. So guys, you can give us a call at 305-826-2202 or visit our website, AtlanticMarineStore.com. If you want to talk to me directly, Alfonso at AtlanticMarineStore.com. That's my email. Hit me up, baby. There Atlantic you go. Marine. Hey, you, you are always a monster. Hey, tell Fred I say hi. Fred is... We're, let's go. I want to go at Black Point. I want to talk some he, smack. He, he came and back. I'm going to judge you, both. I'm listen, judging both. Listen, listen, listen. Oh, well, <laughs> can I put like a number? Yes, can, yes, can yeah, yes. Uh, from my side, though, from my side. Uh, okay, from so my side. Yeah, I'll record you. I'll yeah, yes, yes, you yes. yes. We got you. We'll, right, we'll judge him, guys. All right. Alfred Montaner making a scene, getting thrown out of everywhere. You see, this is how all the things start, guys. Atlantic right. Marine Seaborn. Hey, out, guys. tell him. Tell him to get the damn... Bro, I'm trying. Bro, I'm trying. listen. Okay, listen. This is my tactic. It always works. Yeah, I just want to let you know I'm giving my two weeks notice. Boom. Watch your face. They pause. They freak out. Or give me the pen. There you go. Boom. You know who you're talking to, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He'll just tell me to leave right there. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, bro. You're a monster. Hey, I take back everything nice I've ever said about Alfonso. Guys, Atlantic Marine here at the boat show. Wait. For it. Hey! I do from the other. So the, you guys got these boats out of the water now. Hold, is there anybody that wants to show them? Yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> everything yes. Okay, hold on a second. Are these carbon fiber? They're a carbon fiber wrap. It's a wrap of carbon fiber on an, on an aluminum boat. Yeah, a design carbon fiber. Oh my God, but it looks so good. Wow, I haven't, seen a, ra I haven't seen a wrap this good. Here. Days ago. Wow, guys, this wrap looks so real. Okay, so who can show me the boat? Iggy can. Who? Iggy? Yeah. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and see if we find Iggy. We're gonna put Iggy on the spot. I, I think he's running from me. <laughs> I don't blame him. Who's running from me? Alfred, what's up, brother? <laughs> They're like, hey, guys, I, I run and gun. Listen, I run and gun. I tell you guys. Listen, I'm going to be here one day. Look, you know what I put on my Instagram right now? This is what I, this is the, the facts. When people say, can you come back later? I say yes all the time. And I never come back. Mm -hmm. So I remember seeing you guys at the docks. Yeah. I didn't get to see the boat inside. Where, what can we show? Can we show something real quick? I know, I know you're literally choking on your food. <laughs> That's dedication. <laughs> hey, okay. listen. No breaks. Okay. Okay. So, so what do we have here? What's the name of the brand? XO, XO Boats. Okay, XO Boats. And where are they making them? They're built in Poland, but it's a finished design. Okay, so which one do you want to show? One or the other? We can do either one. Here, let's hop up on this one. Okay, all right, guys. I'm going to have to take off my shoes real quick. Wait for it. Thank you so much. All right, guys, we're ready. Let's go. Would you like some water, sir? For <laughs> Hey, this is why people like watching the channel, dude, because they know it's, it's all real. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So in the cockpit area back here, this boat's a very versatile boat. It's not a fishing boat. Though. Okay. Not at all. This is a... Um, so you're saying boat. that from the from the get-go, this is not a fishing boat. It's not a fishing boat. There's no live wells on this boat. There's no rod holders. We could definitely integrate that to the boat and make kind of an angler addition. But as of right now, this is the commuter. So, so it's, a, it's, it's kind of like a tender then? or for like a That's, big big boat it was it wanted to be a tender in the beginning as people started using them recreational so um, so it actually morphed into just like a recreational boat instead of a exactly. tender exactly so when you're at the island or you're pulling up to a little waterfront restaurant order yourself the food and come back here and sit with a couple people and have food on the back of the boat or you can have a really fun poker game or something with some of friends nice and immediately it just changed completely exactly and so this table also has two braces where they can lower down okay the cushion package on top to make this whole sunbed oh nice and then when you're starting to run again or the rain's coming or it's you know a little bit of conditions you just plop your seat over what you can drop your wait wait wait, wait 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 you're not gonna get away with that dude <laughs> wait wait time out bro hold on a second 
You can make something look so easy like that without letting people try to copy this. Go ahead, let's see this innovation here. That is... Single track, there's no hinges, so you're not gonna... Wow. You're not gonna break it. I am, I'm impressed. Go do that again. All right, guys, that is absolutely smart. All right, so just like that, you have access to both sides. Incredible, I love that. Okay, let's walk forward and see. I see we have some suspension seating yeah, there as well. Oh my God, this guy doesn't get away. What? You don't remember these seats? <laughs> oh, oh, the Sunk Verado. It's Sunk so oh. Verado seats. I don't feel it. I don't, I don't feel it. I don't feel it. And the motor fell off, guys. All right. Hey, listen, it was a fun day until it wasn't. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Alfonso, always giving me a hard time, guys. Okay. So, wow. I feel like, I, I almost feel like I'm in a, like a race car feel slash. It's like driving a Can-Am on the water. Really? And that's why there's suspension seats. The boat's built and uh, ready for really rough water. So. You can get in there, it turns on absolute rails with that hull design, with that hatchet bow and the very low dead rise in the back of the boat. But this is how the boat becomes so versatile, is you get, you get a sunroof up top and now you're in a T-top. Yeah. And now let's say the conditions come again. Close yourself up. Wow. I can't even hear you anymore. <laughs> it's like the... Um, Ace Ventura. Oh, hey, look, go, Alfonso, say something. Keep on talking and close it while he's talking. Hey, do you know if this has air conditioning? Go away, guy. Go away. <laughs> go. Hey, wait, hold on a second. Close up here, too, while he's there. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, no. All right. Okay. So, tell me about the helm. So, the helm. Everything, everything you need when driving the boat's all in the helm. Typically, you'll go and the battery switches are in the back of the boat hiding underneath the cushion. You have all your battery switches on little slide tacks right here. Okay. Shut them all off, shut them all down. Mm -hmm. Right above this is the Wabisto heater. Nice. Because these boats are from Poland, the first couple we have ordered uh, came with a diesel heater. You have your bow thruster right above that with some windshield wipers. Nice. Um, all lit up switches. And then your MFD, you got your Simrad 12 inch with your digital throttles and uh, some auto trim. But we, we see, I think, one of the most important points of this boat, right? Is once you're, you're out of the elements, it's raining, it's pouring, you have an, an area to just lay down if you want to. Uh, turn the AC on. Cool AC? This, cool AC this in this out. boat too? Absolutely. And you do have a separated head as well down there. So I like this right here. So you can come in and out right to the bow. And then right next to you okay. is a stair. So I can create that into a staircase. So when you're at the island, you don't want everybody walking into the home yeah. area. Yeah. You just open that up and then they can access the head straight from there. And then you close this off. What's the size of this boat again? 29 feet. 29 feet, Eight guys. Eight six on the beam. Eight six on the beam. Okay, what's the fuel capacity on something like this? 119 gallons. So I can technically come out of here. Yep. Wow. Okay. Where the stair step is actually going to come up. Show me. Come here. Come in. Go, 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 go. Let me get out real quick. I want, I want to show this completely. Because these are things. And these are ideas you just don't really see too often in, in these boats. A little cushion pops up. You take this. Oh, slides up. Look at that. It so you can. In. Now I just walk out. Wow. Hold on. Stay right there. It's Boom. Big okay. Now show the other angle of it. Just like that. Then yeah, going down to the head. You're just gonna come. You got a little grip down here. And now you're in bed. And close behind you. And and then we go to the other one. Okay. What's the difference between this one and this one here? So this is more of you just walk around. Okay. This one is going to be your daily cruiser. Okay. It doesn't, it has a, it has a cabin. Okay. But maybe one person can fit into it. It's more of just your pilot house, bow rider style, island hopping commuter boat. So that size of that one is what? That one's 31 feet. 31 feet. So it's That's just a little bit. Explorer 10S. Okay. And the model we're standing on currently is the Defender 9. Okay. Close that down so we can see that. Defender 9. Okay. So let's walk, check this one out, 
and we're going to continue guys i really really like alfonso come here what up brother come here there's only one person that's going to save my week what do you mean? right here that we do need power so listen i should have brought my power bank because there's because there's no power here anywhere we don't have any electricity. They don't have. They don't give us any electricity. Okay. How long? How much battery you have left? We have enough to finish this video. Damn it! Yeah, hold that. No, like, just hold it. Gonna We're gonna find out. Bro. We're gonna find out, guys. We gotta find power, guys. No, unfortunately, no. All right, guys. Let's continue. Guys, this is what happens. This is the real deal at the boat show. Can you let them know I just bought the boat? Yep, he bought it. Guys, I just no. bought it. Sorry, nice. it's no longer for sale. I just took it. <laughs> Which one? This one? Both of them right now. Both of them. They're all mine. Get off my lawn. They're all mine. Okay, okay. Come, come here, come here. Listen, because this is, this is a boat that I also was working my way to. I hope you could be cool with these people behind you because I actually wanted to talk about that boat as well next to you. So I'm going to, I feel like I'm bar hopping, dude. Do you have good neighbors? Good. I, I haven't talked to them too much, but they just loaned me a jack stand this morning. So they're cool people. people oh. the back of the boat. Okay, okay. So Very they're nice cool people. people. Okay, all right, guys. So they're good people. And that's another boat that we're going to film now too, guys. Stay, stay with it. Okay. So, much different layout already, I feel. Absolutely. Okay, guys. Welcome aboard. Okay. 100% What's this one called again? This is the uh, XO Explore 10S. Nice. And then the tents is in meters, so it's yes. about 30, 31 feet in total. Um, you got a couple seats in the back. They all fold up, so you can just turn this into a wide open spot if you want to do some fishing or hanging out or just relaxing. And then coming inside. Okay, there's a big step down here, right? Very big step down, about maybe two feet. And then you have your galley to the right. And coming in here, you got a little tabletop. And that And these are all adjustable seats. You can kind of configure this exactly the way you want. Same kind of style set up in the helm over here. We just did one MFD um, over here with the same digital throttles, the auto trim tabs, and then all of your little switches. These are the first time I've seen these switches before. I have never seen these. That's, that's new. I'm liking this a lot. We got a little electric top. It's gonna close you up. Keep you nice and cool when you turn that AC on and then open it up when you want to. Sea Keeper option on something like this? I've never done one before, but it is possible. It's possible. Absolutely. These these boats were originated to be inboard outboards. Mm -hmm. So there's tons and tons of space underneath these decks to where we can put in generators. I see I see a door there. There's a door hinge there. There's something in there. Oh Here's your head. wait for it guys. I like it nice space it seems like there's air conditioning here. i feel i feel air that came out through there like I'm, I'm gonna have to sit in there guys give me a minute all right so what do we have there on that side that's just more storage this is your single cabin single berth no <laughs> no this has a little berth in here all the way goes tiny. through all the way through no you gotta be kidding me oh my goodness wow it's tiny guys it's tiny but AC in there, right? AC gets in there. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Like, I, I would see this as an explorer boat. Wow, I didn't see that coming at all. You have some kids or just need to lay down for a little bit. I didn't see that coming at all. Nice. And you got storage underneath all of your seating up front, little anchor locker. All hinges are 316 stainless, same thing with the cleats. And then this is just all powder soda. Are these all aluminum? So the actual outside of the hull is all aluminum. It starts off with eight millimeters of thickness at the keel. So it goes out to three millimeters at the top. Um, the whole top cap of this boat, though, is fiberglass, and then it's foam insulated in between the two layers for that soundproofing. So you really feel like you're in a fiberglass boat when you're on it. Really? You get the durability and the light weight of the aluminum hull. So you have the whole bottom side in aluminum? Correct. And the top, wow, that, I've never seen that. Yep. Interesting to see that, because I was looking, I was like, wow, these finishes look pretty good for, you know, there's a lot of work that has to happen to make a boat like like this if it were all aluminum. Absolutely. So so that's very clever that they did that. 
Okay, what are we talking about price points on something like this? So this boat is uh, available. We just received it two days ago. This boat's uh, going for $289,000. $289,000. And where are you guys representing it? Uh, out of Tampa, Orlando, and New Smyrna. You want to give your info on the Absolutely. company? Absolutely. My name's Colton Herman, and I'm with Ultimate Marine. I'm out of the Tampa location uh, pretty much majority of the time. Awesome. So listen, I'm bar hopping, really. I mean, this, would, this is the Sparks. Anybody there that you know... I heard a Bob name. Who's Bob? I, I haven't talked to any let's of those see. guys yet. All right, guys, let's we've, see. Uh, we've had a very two busy days of the show. It, it might get a little weird here. If anything, I'm just going to say it was your, it was your fault. <laughs> That's fine. That's I'm going to ruin relationships here, guys. You're going to see them for the next two days. Let's go yeah. over here at the boat show, guys. Wait for it. Hey, as always, I'll see you at the next show. Are you guys going to be in Fort Lauderdale? We will be at every single show. Every we'll single show. We'll be in Sarasota next, and then we'll do the Tampa Poker Run. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Guys, comment below which one was your favorite. I love bringing them different boats. I'm glad I was able to get on the show, get you guys on the show. I know last time people were trying to. It was crazy. In Miami. It, it was crazy. It, it's crazy over here too. But all right, guys, let's go. Let's continue walking. Actually, you know what, dude? It's gonna get weird right now, guys. There's, there's a lot of people here. There's a lot of people here. Hey, do me a favor. Scream, fire, fire. <laughs> Quick, fire, fire. Fire, fire. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> hey, I didn't think you were going to do that. All right. <laughs> Stay road on. All right, guys. So here's the Sparks 46. All right, so this is what we're gonna do, guys. At a boat show, you can't scream fire. You gotta say, free beer, free beer. Hello. What is it gonna take for me to get on this boat and show it? Um, the builder is the gentleman up there in the white shirt. I'm sure he would love for you to show it. Uh, maybe just give him a minute with those people, if that's okay. That's fine. Um, can you tell me a little bit about it? So it's a Sparks 46. This is hole number one. Hole number one, uno. Boats are produced in Riviera Beach. We're not far from here. Correct. I sunk a boat, I mean a motor over there. Okay. Nice. I mean, it's a long story, but we can talk about that off camera. Very cool. I love this. So, so somebody told me a little bit about Bob. So Bob Sparks started at Jupiter Marine back in the 90s and then founded Venture Boat Works mm -hmm. in 1994. He did his first boat show here in Palm Beach in 1994. Then he started Bahama Boat Works in 2004. So he, he started it. Correct. Okay, so can you introduce me to Bob? Is he scared of cameras? No. No, let's go. I don't think he's, he's scared of anything. <laughs> you don't think he's scared of anything? T tell him, say, that guy said you were only scared of fire and heights. Right. Hey, I'm looking for a guy who's scared of fire and heights. That's me. That's you? <laughs> so you're Bob then? Yes, I am. <laughs> Welcome. Bob Sparks. Nice to meet you. Alfred Montaner. How are you doing, Alfred? Good. They've been telling me you got to go check out Bob's boat. It's, it's hole number one. And uh, wow. So I'm a YouTube content creator. I'm, I'm filming the entire show. And I love to talk about this boat that has originated. I'm assuming that you designed this boat. Yes, sir. You mind talking about it on camera? Don't be scared, Bob. They, no, I'm not. I'm it's not, not heights or fire. fire. There you go. We're yeah, good. we're not high now. I, I'm a hurricane. That's the worst thing. That, I right. came here March of 96 and brought a Venture 34. But in 96 in 96 okay first i went 95 to fort lauderdale boat show came here in 96 and it changed my life dealing with people and seeing you know how boat shows work and mm. i've been designing boats in my head ever since then came here in 04 with a 31 bahama 06 with a 41 bahama now i'm here in 23 with the sparks 46. all that technology just kept getting bigger and bigger and changing materials and the way we build things to make it more boater friendly builder friendly practical for people to own the boats the whole shooting match wow this thing is let me tell you something it's massive can i jump on yes you so can. you can tell me all right guys so okay so so okay so if you type in uh alfred montaner or chicho i do the chicho at the boat ramp you'll find me on there okay. with a c instead of s yeah. a, a, a c chicho, chicho. Okay. all right bob okay so bob, thank you okay so first first impression is Oh my goodness, this thing is beamy and big. Yep. Okay, so 
Obviously, we don't have this completely finished. What's the thought this, process? This is the standard, and you custom build the boat from here. Top, oh. electronics, motors, stereo, oh, wait, seating, what? everything. Wait, 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 wait. So you basically say, hey, here's the layout. Work from here. Here's give me whatever. Canvas. Give me whatever you want. Right. I want to wow. put on this boat what you want and nothing that you don't want. Wow. Okay. 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 So let's let's start with the beam here. Let, let me let me. Okay. Okay, so we have a 13-3 beam on this monohull, right? This, yep. th okay, so. Flat pad. Okay, so what are we talking about? How much power can we put on this? How many engines can we put on this if we wanted to? Four six hundreds. Four six hundreds. Or four four hundreds. Or three six hundreds. I've tested them all at Lake X. What What do you like the best? Your person. Your four V10s. The new Mercury V10. Beautiful motor. Okay, okay. So from here, you can have any type of seating you want. You Correct. can design it for fishing. Yep. You can have it as a family boat. Yep. Okay, so give me some ideas right now because I want people to visualize what we got here. Basically from here, you're gonna have two rows of seating facing forward. You're driving, the helm is right here, throttle's here, built-in glove box. Then you'll have another row seating here. And then you'll have a third row seating aft, your mezzanine back here. Okay. All the hatches, big gutters, all the way to the hatch sits on this O-ring. Then you have a gasket here that's outboard that totally seals it up. Then you have a compression latch here that pulls that hatch down so there's no rattling. You notice all the hatches are all hand finished all the way around. We put nuts on here, you got no nuts. You know, studs sticking out, lock nuts. You got two live wells above. There's ball valves inside the live well so you can choke it down so a little more water goes in than what goes out so you can pressurize the wells, not beat your bait up. You got a, basically a small sink here. I could put a chill plate in here for baits. Easy access to all your rigging in here. Absolutely and crazy. And, and side doors, you can do a right or left or both. And I see that we have these very thick gunnels here as well with some non-skid. Yes, sir. It's a three-piece boat. And what I've done to this boat that I haven't done in a long time, the console is connected to the liner. It's all one piece. So it's like... Oh, so it's, it's, it's stiff, yeah. It's solid as a brick. Easy to build. Console door here again, all hand finished, mortared in, lock. Shuts like a car door, fits perfect. It's all gasket, totally seal up. If you notice, you haven't seen any screws yet on the boat. Everything's stud mounted with blind fasteners. Then there's a magnet on the bottom here. So if you're out, don't recommend to be up on plane running with the door open. But if you're idling around fishing, then the interior in here is basically. Wow. Let me get in here real quick. Okay. So give me an idea. Wow, this is. I basically, with this interior, I've gone as wide as I can go, low as I can go, and you can see as high as I can go. I'm six foot two. Uh -huh. I'm six five. Ha <laughs> ha. <Yeah. laughs> okay, hold on a second. So where's is this going to be the actual floor right here? Yes. So this is going to be the actual floor once. But what uh, I've done, this is the one you put this tub in here. What I call, if you're going to totally custom, I've had people who want to put three bunks in here. I've had people who want to do nothing but storage for tackle, a tender, an 89 footer, something. But then I've made a new one of these where there's molded in fiberglass seats with two hatches on them, a counter space here, recess a microwave here, a wet head here with a full wall, recess a medicine cabinet back in here, and then these bunks here, I brought them up seven inches in four inches, then a dinette table goes down and basically you got a five by six, six foot bed in here. Yes, that, that'll be like a standard thing, but this is the one the guy that wants to do whatever he wants to do. So Easy access to all your rigging. That's the back of the live well, the floor live well in front of the console. Then the center compartment here is your seat chest for your seat keeper generator, air conditioning and configuration. And the next boat, the seat keeper will be right behind that wall from there. You'll access the seat keeper down through here. Absolutely huge. And this is a 46 footer. 46, 13 beam. 13, three what, beam. What's the fuel capacity that you're going to be able to put? 800 gallons. 800 gallons. 55 gallons of diesel fuel for the diesel generator. 9kW Northern Lights. Okay, let's step out to the bow real quick and show that real quick. I don't want to interrupt all the people that want to see this, guys. But, but I definitely want them to see this. 
this is the bunny pad here. This will all have fancy cushion, you know, there again to your specs, everything gas shock. This would be your day cooler, all your drinks in here. Here's a 125 gallon live well that you nice. get in here. Still again, all wow, the look how deep that is. All the way around, gas shocks. I didn't put the stainless ends on, I forgot. Uh, then you got storage in here again. Bow thrust will go in here. These are your fish boxes here above deck where they drain overboard. So you don't have to deal with that. Then you can put backrests in here, sit here, canvas, all the stuff. Then hopping up. So Bob, they have to sit down with you and give you, hey, listen, this oh, is yeah, what I want. It's, it's a week long project to go through all the questions to start building a boat. Then you got the big anchor locker here. I died off the forward seating. And these will m mainly be windlasses. This is beautiful. Here, film back this way. Yeah, this is then beautiful. Then I did the forward seating, so you can get up here. You can still run down a fish. You can do the anchor line. And when someone's driving, somebody's not sitting here, and you can't watch where you're going. So I cut these off. Then I make a piece that fits in here. You can make this thing a whole pad here if you're going to do a sandbar family day or something. And that's where I'm at. Let me show this real quick because it, the the console. Okay, so tell me the. Uh, so, T-top, what, what are we looking at as far as the T-top, Bob? Size the limit. You can build a regular T-top for it, radar, mount everything, or you could do a, a, a basic dual station, dual control, or you could really go for a gap tower where you're standing four or five feet above, above the radar. Let me tell you, for 6'2", this boat is making you look kind of small. Yeah. It's, this is it? It's big. Oh, okay, so what's the production looking like on something like that? How long is it taking you for somebody that might be interested in, in building something? After I get a couple of boats in the water, I'll probably build about six boats a year. Six boats a year. What are you talking about time-wise? Months? Years? No. Uh, my first boat will be in the water probably September, October. A couple of months after that, the second boat. A couple of months after that, the third boat. So we're getting to full production now. All the tooling is done. Okay, so listen, I can't wait to see the finished product completely me too. I, I listen <laughs> trust me I, listen with your resume i'm sure it's going to be good when it's all done where can they go online to find out more information about sparks sparksboatworks.com sparks marine yacht or sparks yacht sales.com okay check me out alfred montaner on youtube you got it okay bob next time i'll bring some fire to make sure we'll see if you're really scared or not i will I won't bring the pain. <laughs> Guys, what a monster. I love seeing this. In Thank you. 13, 6, 3, 3. Thanks a lot, Bob. I appreciate you, you so much. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, listen, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to continue walking and talk about amazingness. Wow. Hey, he this is this is why we do these videos the way we do, guys. Film this craziness. Look at the transom. Go, cool, let's see. There's 48 holes in the transom. We went to Mercury's Lake X Test Center. Okay. Tested it with four 400 V10s, three 600 V12s, and four 600 V12s. Each one of these is a, their own bolt. What, what was the top speed when with uh? With 75 the with four 600s. 75. And we were 32,500 pounds out the dock, at the dock with nobody in it. Didn't have a top on the boat, but I filled up all the compartments with water and it had 840 gallons of fuel in it tell me, and 120 gallons of fresh water. Tell me a little bit about the bottom that we're down here. So, so I see, I mean, you know, I, I film a lot out of Hallover Inlet and I, I always like catching boats getting stuffed out of Hallover. That happens but a lot. I don't think that's going to happen with this boat, though. No, she's pretty good. It's a flat pad on it. It's a straight mono haul, no steps in or anything. Beautiful fit and finish on it. Wow, guys, look at this. Absolutely. Bob, thank you so much. I can't wait to put people to take a look at it. And uh, guys, check them out. Hey, next time I'm bringing some fire. Yeah. And uh, the big ladder, make them get up on top. <laughs> He goes, is he afraid of the camera? I go, no, only fire and heights. <laughs> fire and heights. I was like, I got none. Cool. All right, guys, I put my shoes on. Hey, thank you so much. You got it. Thank you. Bob, 6'2", 250. That's what we're saying now. Just wait for it, guys. <laughs> the sparks. Guys, absolute monster. Look at that. That thing is a beauty. 
Wow. All right. Get off my lawn. Get off my lawn! I see it. It's already been a. It's already a tradition over here, guys. Can't miss the boat, the boys. What's going on now? All right, cool. Sorry, you've been ambushed. <laughs> Where's Fred? Yeah, he, I, I don't have a backpack today. He's not here with me. He's retired. I retired him for, for not cooperating. Matt, nice meeting you. Guys, we got Matt over here at East Cape. And for those of you guys that don't know, we've done some uh, walkthrough videos of East Cape. The last one we did was recently at the Miami Boat Show. What do you guys think? You know? Hey, comment below. Look at, look at this. Look at this. All right. Some of you guys that watch my channel, if you like that, yeah. K&J Danny from K&J Marine, his wife, can do that. Don't tell him I told you or don't tell her that I told you and hopefully they don't see this video. But anonymous, anonymously call K&J, K&J Marine in Miami. Those boats are awesome. Matt, how much, how much do we need to buy one? Tell me which one, what are we price points, quick. They start out at 49.5, boat, motor, and trailer with the Suzuki 90. Okay. Side comfort. Where, where can they go online? Eastcapeboats.com. Word is born, kid. You like my MIA hat or what? Love it. Loving, huh? Never missing <laughs> that murder hornets! You guys know I call Jeskies murder hornets, right? If you don't know, now you know. Yes. What's going on, guys? Oh, Costa! Costa has some badass boats. I love this. What's going on with the murder hornets? Come here. You guys are representing the murder hornets? The yet the Jeskies. It's a long story. I don't want to talk about it. But you guys sell these. We do. We do. They're a big thing in Miami. I'm coming from Miami. Okay. So you guys are a part of Revo on 36? We or, are or, Revo or Sports. We have three locations, Pompano Beach, Key Largo. Miami, and Key Largo. I, yes, I've been there, and I've ever, every time I needed an emergency part, I go to you guys. Cool. So you guys are, are showing off a lot of jet skis today. Yes, you got sir. anything interesting that we can show? Absolutely. What do we got? We have the full line of 2023 Yamaha watercraft, including the flagship, which is the FX Limited. Okay, the reason I call it the murder hornet because they just, um, brrr, you know? know. Okay, so so this is the flagship right here? Of the Yamaha watercraft line. What are we looking at speed for something like this? Top speed is the high 60s. High 60s? High 60s. About 67 miles per hour. 70 miles an hour you're going to do on this thing? That's crazy. 67. Very controllable, very stable. How many people can you fit on this? That's a three passenger watercraft. Three, so, so one, two, and three. And you got all these speakers and everything. All this yep. stuff can go underwater. Audio system, fully waterproof. So, like it, it can, it, you can tip it over without a problem, and it's fine. Yep. Yep. And that's Yamaha. Now we also have, and then we also have the uh, the Sea Doo lineup. What's the Sea Doo? Let's go. Let's see the Sea Doo. What, is another what's brand. the difference between? I, and and I, mind you, I don't know much about uh, um, jet skis, right? Right. I call them murder horns. You call them jet skis. What do other people call them? I call them? them personal watercraft. Okay, personal. The category, the real category is personal watercraft. Okay. Yamaha personal watercraft, Sea-Doo okay. personal watercraft. Oh, okay, so they're all personal watercrafts. Um, now, in this case, these are not personal because they're, they're more than one. You can put more people on it, right? There's it's two or three people. It's a personal watercraft, okay. but it's a three-passenger personal oh, watercraft. Okay, so yeah. tell me the difference between the Sea-Doo and uh, Yamaha. Um, as far as why somebody would choose one or the other, because it's, it, it's right. the same, it does the same thing. Right, they have a lot of the same features, but, you know, just like two different manufacturers of cars. You want Ford or Chevy. Okay. Both very good quality. Yamaha, obviously, is a very well known marine brand. They make the Yamaha Outboards, the it, Yamaha Watercraft. Is Sea Doo Bombardier? Correct. It is. BRP so, or Bombardier. Oh, okay, so I used to have a BRP. Um, uh, four-wheeler and those things yeah. are faster than hell Same company, Bombardier, right? oh yeah they're Bombardier faster than hell so i would assume that this thing flies how fast does this one go about high 60s also high, high 60s also similar so completely kind of different look this one looks a little bit more rugged is there anything i think i've seen some guys on instagram using these to fish is there is That's that some correct yeah the uh this uh, sea Doo is available in a Fish Pro model, which is designed for fishing. This happens to be the Explorer Pro, which is for touring. But uh, there's a lot of fishing going on board these things. And rod holders. And all kinds an of idea range. What what's uh, what's the size 
uh, and, and price points on something like this? Like, what's the price point on something? Pricing. Uh, More or less. We can just be vague. Yeah, in the twenty thousand dollar range. For twenty thousand for the for the yeah. one up top, yeah, and this, this one here. Around eighteen. Eighteen. Where can they go? Riva Motorsports. Riva Motorsports, Pompano Beach, Florida, or Riva Miami. Okay. Or uh, Riva Store in Key Largo. Awesome. I appreciate. It. What's your name? How do you want to give some I'm your? I'm Dave Bambis. I'm the owner oh, of Riva. Okay. Do you want to give your information so they can call maybe one of your salespeople? Sure. You can give us a call at uh, 954-785-4820 or visit Riva R I V A Motorsports.com. I'm still gonna call them murder hornets. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I appreciate you. you. Guys, you. check them out over here. My audience always asks me, hey, when you go to the boat shows, talk about the jet skis. Who are you with? What? Uh, Chicho. So Alfred Montaner on YouTube. Okay. Just type in Chicho with a C. Sarah. I'm going to fall into the water for the gram. Are you ready? I'm ready. Jump! <laughs> what? Jump! What kind of monster are you? <laughs> Push! No! One that likes to have fun, jump! What are you talking about? What What's going on here in Palm she, Beach? She offered me 20 bucks and says I wouldn't push you. Oh no, we like that. Hey. Steven, I'm gonna, hey. I'm gonna jump in for the gram. Don't jump. Don't no, jump. They, they say they're gonna push me in. Can somebody film it while it happens? Oh, <laughs> wait for it. Go, get me pushed in. They're gonna pay for my stuff. Welcome to Solus. <laughs> Wait for it. Oh my goodness. Guys, they, nobody ever expects me at the boat ramp. Nobody expects me here at the boat shows. I never let nobody know when I'm coming. I just show up and it's a party. You guys remember the 41? This is absolutely an amazing boat. If you have not seen the sea trial I have done on this boat, you got to see it. It's absolutely, it's, it's insane. I got to They were going to, they were going to push me in. Do you see that? I wasn't going to let them. I was going to save them. Did you see that? Like, she what? me 20 bucks. What do you mean? 20 bucks? I'm, all it is hey, is 20 we, bucks. We wanted to see the camera go. Hey, have you pop and go, I can't swim. No, you know what you see? You, if I would have fallen in, I would have been paddling with my, with my hand up and holding the camera like this. Save the camera, yeah, quick. You know what's gonna Just happen. take out the SD card. Yeah, but from the height there, you're going to probably go all the way to the bottom end. So. Okay, let me tell you something. I don't know if you know the story. You know the story because remember when I did the video with Daniel from Tuppence Marine and he wet my camera with the other boat? and he splashed it with a thousand pounds of water. Oh, so, so he did like, we were doing a wake. It's a, it's a, it's, it's, tra it's a traumatic moment for me, by the way. And we're on this one, but with the diesel version, right? And there's another boat and I'm filming it. And it's actually, he's on the Solis and I'm trying to get the shot. And all of a sudden he gets our wake and he just smashes that wave. And the exit of the wave just goes, thousand pounds of water hit me his boss everybody and to this day i hate the guy no <laughs> no, 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 no no he's awesome so hey i've been hearing a lot of stuff through the grapevine i don't know if you guys are you guys are gonna have to give up something because it's out and about where's steven steven alfred how are you good to see you first well, of all see you. there's so many things out there when are you going to release some info? Because I'm already hearing it behind the scenes. Don't act like it's not yeah, happening. No. Yeah, just, we got a lot of top uh, secret uh, stuff going on. Right okay, now. okay. So, uh, but there's some amazing stuff going oh, yeah. on. Amazing. amazing. So I just filed for five patents on hull design. Uh, we're going to change the world on some hull stuff. So that's, uh, that's coming up here next. Okay, so I'm willing to drive to wherever you're at, film, leave give you the SD card and give it to you and say, okay, my job is done. You hold on to it so you're sure that nobody sees it. And then at some point, we show the world that monster or those monsters that have been living in your head. Okay, we can work that out. Okay. We'll work that out. So what's going on here at Palm Beach? Palm Beach has been a great show. This is great show. Like right here. Within All the first hour, we had people down here looking to buy boats. It was amazing. 
I mean, yesterday was crazy. Yesterday was nuts. Yesterday was nuts, yeah. which is the very first day. Right. Right. First we're, day we're, yeah, first day of the show. Today's but Friday. The, people are, the, the traffic was down a little bit, but the people that were here are buyers. They're yeah. serious. They're still in the market to buy a boat. Okay, so you have the 41, the 30 here. Yep. What else do you have here? We have a 32. This is the 30, guys. And we've done a, a walkthrough of this boat as well. And then you have the 32 over here. We have a 32 over here. <laughs> I love this, guys. And then we, we again, we brought the uh, diesel boat, the diesel 41. And Where's that one at? It's over here. So okay, that's the one I got sprayed on. That's the one that, that this, okay, this is it. I'm going to have to find that clip. I was talking about how Daniel wet, wet my camera, my yeah, yeah, audio. Yeah. You remember that video. It so, was on this one. It was... It's yeah, so we updated this boat a little bit. What, do you, what did you do? This has um, been your demo boat, one, right? Yeah, so this is actually Volvo's boat. It's Volvo's boat, but, guys. Um, so we updated the, um, this whole unit here. So we got a couple of live wells. And after we did the um, 30 back-to-back -back seat, mm -hmm. can you move this seat for us, please? Kind of show the back-to-back. -back. Oh, nice. Okay, smart. Oh, uh, obviously. Where did you think about this? Because I remember you think of all your amazing things when you get all these incredible yeah, ideas. It's, it's, it's so it, simple, but it's, yeah, it it's simple. practical. You know, a lot of good ideas end up becoming simple. They're simple, right? Yeah, but simple. It takes, it's a very complicated process before you get down and make it simple. Yes, and it's, it's absolutely. And I'll tell you what, this has been one of my favorite boats. Actually, Diesel and the Volvos became, I became a huge fan of that setup after I, I was so, on this know, boat. When we first started doing this boat, I'm just, I'm an outboard guy. And I like going fast. Of course. And, and I've just always been an outboard guy, right? And we've been using this boat now for several months and fishing it. And um, I'll tell you the truth, I would buy a Volvo boat now. This is a great boat. This runs amazing. It's not, you know, it's, it's 55 miles an hour, top end, but I'll tell you what, getting there, Steven, this boat gets Steve, there Steven, it gets you there. You, you, got, you got diesel, it's... it's it's it more burns. efficient, yeah. but you know what? In rough seas, this boat handles unbelievably. So you end up getting there faster. Okay, um, where can they go? Because I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to refer them to, to the old other videos that we've done of walkthroughs. Yeah. Where can they go online? And you got to get in contact with me. I want to go to the factory. Yeah. I want to show Anytime. When you're the process. Listen, it doesn't matter. You tell me, Alfred, okay. make it happen. Right. So then from there, like I said, I'll give you the SD card, I'll hand it and I'll put All it right, right there in your hands. And then you don't have no worry. I'm never going to leak. Okay. All I'm right. never going to leak unless All it's right. your restroom. All right. At that point, <laughs> at that point, that's the only time. Yeah. But listen, sure? hey, six, <laughs> six, five, two twenty five and ripped, right? Yes, sir. You know it, baby. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right all right um so yeah i think you know why because the end product is the end product but the fun part is the journey all right. and i want to show so the we'll journey so you come up to the factory okay and we'll go through some cad models okay and i'll show you some of the stuff that we're applying on patents nice and you definitely got to keep it locked no down no listen I, like i said i'll give you i'll give you listen if you need me to write no, you can hang on to it you're good no no listen it won't happen it won't happen and um i know where you live Ah! <laughs> it was nice knowing you guys. Okay, okay. So, how's your son? Ryan's great. So oh. normally we bring Ryan to the boat shows. Why? Why isn't he here? Because his teachers were kind of mad that he was taking time off. So he took time off. In Miami, oh, that's okay. That's and we went from Miami. We actually went up to Boston and did that show. It overlapped with uh, Miami. So he's he's back. He's fishing. Um, Ryan, I heard last time Sarah was telling me he's saving people in the water too and. Oh yeah, he's doing yeah, it all. Yeah, yeah. he's doing it. I don't know why, but every time he's negotiating out. like hats with me. Last time, guys, I, I swapped a, a Chicho hat for a Solis hat. Um, the kid's a, a super entrepreneur. He is. He I'm is. I'm sure he's gonna be. He's uh, gonna be. A, he's my replacement. I'm training my replacement. I'm ready to retire here pretty soon. So. Okay, so where can they go online to check out Solis? Solisboats.com. Okay. And, um, and and everything's on there. Everything's awesome. I mean, guys, boats are selling. People that want to buy, there is less traffic so far from what I've noticed, but the quality of people are like, hey, listen, like some people are like, interest rates are at 7% and other people are like, I don't worry about that. Some it's people- It's gonna be what it's gonna be. It's gonna be you what know, it's gonna be. Like, I think interest rates are gonna stay there for a little while. 
And um, so you're gonna, are you gonna do without a boat? You, know, you really can't do that. Or die. Or die. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What are you gonna do? You know, our boater, our customers are boaters. Yes. And they're going to have a boat. Yes. Um, and right, right now is a good time to buy a boat. I, listen, it's a good time to make memories. It's always a good time to make memories. Exactly. So exactly. you price your memories. That's what I tell you people. And you know what? We're on the boat. Our whole family's with us. Everybody's happy. Everybody's having a good time. And you can't replace that with anything. Amen. Hey. All right. I'll Copy. see you. Good Get in contact you. with me. Tell Ryan I said what's up, guys. Listen, I saw you really comfortable before I got here. Go get back. There you go. 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 We're out of here, guys. So let's make it a scene as always. <laughs> hey, put your arm back. Don't worry. We already have it on camera. Sarah. Thank you. Tell Ryan we got to switch hats. I know. Uh, no, 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 no. I can't. I can't. I, 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 I want to give him something in return. It's a swap. Okay. So... And I'm going to go to the factory. We already just negotiated that deal on YouTube. So this guy is here, Palm Beach, 2023. Offer Montana, making a scene as always. You heard it, guys. It's going to be amazing.